Hello, welcome. Let me know when you guys can see me. Sorry guys, it's like the latest I've ever been for a stream, I think. <laughs> oh God. So, um, I was like messing with my setup a lot yesterday because I wanted to update it and just a lot of technical difficulties before starting, but hopefully everything looks okay-ish. <laughs> I was like a little orange beforehand because the white balance was off. Let me read some of these donations I missed. Thank you, Desparta. How was your trip? Mine to Indy wasn't too bad. We'll have to catch the VOD because of work. Hope your day is great. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate you. And yeah, it was good. I got. I mostly just kind of went to go visit my family and stuff, and it was really nice to see all my family and friends. So I had a great time. Hope you had a good time as well. And thank you, Crocomancer. Last time on Rain Code, ultimate question was finally raised. Will Vivia... <laughs> Pulling a knife make Weeby simp for him less. <laughs> or more. <laughs> Always more. Oh, you guys know me. <laughs> you guys know me by now. Oh man, I kept thinking about it too, just like while I was getting ready. Like, I was the meme being like, oh, Vivia, don't kill me. Oh, you're too sexy. <laughs> oh man. Oh god. And yeah, so unfortunately, I don't know if you guys can hear it too well or not. Hopefully not. Our um, smoke detector is broken, so it keeps beeping. And of course, it's like the smoke alarm that's like literally right next to my computer setup. It's like right there. So it's kind of loud and it's kind of annoying. Um, hopefully you guys can't hear it too much, but that's another little issue that I've been, there it goes, <laughs> that I've been having recently. But hopefully it gets fixed in time for the next stream or whatever. <laughs> Or whatever that I do, next video recording. Thank you, Nocturne, in my fave chapter, all the feels of a Danganronpa chapter four. I'm looking forward to it, I think. Yeah, this is the time where we finally get to hang out with Vivia. I was like, hopefully I'm not jinxing it too much by titling the stream that. But I was like, come on, we saw him pull out the knife. He's got, it's gotta be his chapter. And thank you, the cursed one, Lord of Cats. Thank you for becoming a Kinjo cultist. And thank you, Jean Philippe Pontins, for wow, 10 gifted Weeby News memberships. And congrats to everybody who got a membership. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate ya. But yeah, um, I guess we can go ahead and get started. I think everything looks okay. Like I said, I was trying to do my stream setup, trying to fix it or upgrade it, and everything went wrong. So <laughs> Okay, let's start. Continue. Uh, yeah, I think it is. I think it's time, guys, for Vivia! Uh, he's such a, like, Chapter 5 coded character, and I think this is, like, technically Chapter 5. Because <laughs> we got the Chapter 0, so it was, like, it's a little, a little, it was a little Kamida moment. <laughs> I'm ready! I'm so freaking ready. Oh my gosh, so many, uh, where are all those noises coming from? Oh my gosh. Oh, is that like the individual gifts? Does it do that? Oh my God, why does it keep going? <laughs> Hopefully it stops soon. The past, that should have been completely sealed. The crime that should have been completely sealed. Okay. When that gate opens up, um. the past will have its revenge on the future. Interesting. Yeah, following it, totally, yeah. The past and the future, I gotcha. Oh my god! A restful slumber. Oh my god, it's robots time! The end oh, who's the a little murderer? <laughs> who's a little killer robot? The end of the world, I believe okay. They're really hyping up this chapter, aren't they? Okay! It's so kind of cool hearing Kibo's voice talk about a killer robot. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, I'm so excited to meet to meet the killer robot. He's just a little guy. Oh, Laura too. Nothing good over on that end, huh? Thank you, Lucky Cat 2703 Luna. We be off camera building a Vivian church. <laughs> As I should, he deserves one. He's really had like five lines so far in this game and I'm like already so obsessed with him. <laughs> so, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. But oh, I'll probably come to love him more. Web actually exist. The more, the more lines he gets. I've done the legwork. I haven't found a single piece of information. Maybe the anemic vampire was just talking nonsense. Okay. Oh yeah, we were looking for that because of um, him, and then he was talking about like cutting me with a box cutter and stuff. Okay, gotcha. Sheesh. 
I'm starting to get worried. Don't worry. Though I was suspicious at first, I can now say for certain that it does exist. Okay. Huh? Why is that? After the incident with the Resistance, former Amaterasu employees have completely vanished from town. Oh, sketchy. Perhaps they sensed trouble and went into hiding. Or perhaps they were taken by the peacekeepers. Mm. In either case, they could have provided us with valuable information. Without them, we are farther from the truth. Okay, yeah, so basically he's trying to hide the truth from us. However, looking at it another way, it's safe to assume there's someone behind the scenes attempting to conceal the secret lab. Okay. Someone... Like Amaterasu Corporation? <laughs> no way, not them. If that's the case, then all our sources of information have been lost. So how do we continue searching for this secret lab? To find what you're looking for, you must first discard all your assumptions. Halar is so cool, dude. Like, I don't know, I just feel like their aura, just like everything about them, I'm like, damn. <laughs> damn, you're cool, Halara. If it's not here, then it must be over there. Remove such thoughts from your head. Once you do that, there's only one thing left to do, and that is the best course of action. Wait, what was that? If it's not here, then it must be over there. Remove such remove such thoughts from your heads. Discard all your assumptions. Okay, so it might be like hiding somewhere that we, you know, I don't know, just like check areas more thoroughly, I guess is kind of what they're getting at. Which is... In short, you do everything. You scour it all, one yeah. by one. Okay, so that's what they were getting at. That's a rather simple way to view <laughs> things. Cause yeah, I mean it's a secret lab, so it might be like under under our feet right now. You never know. That is the way of the detective. The only time things should be flashy is when it comes time for you <laughs> to die. Discard all assumptions. All right. Not until it's your turn to die. Maybe it's somewhere we would least expect it to be. What is it, Karumi? Did you think of something? Inside our very own submarine. Now that'd be a crazy twist. Um, do you know about the restricted area on the outskirts of Kanai Ward? No. Restricted area? Yeah, even the peacekeepers don't go near it. It's completely isolated. I feel like I maybe kind of remember that being mentioned, but I can't tell if I'm just like gaslighting myself. Since no one can enter there, I figured there'd be nothing of note in that area. In other words, it's the best possible place to hide something, right? It's super suspicious. But why does a restricted area even exist? No one knows the exact reason why, but there is a rumor. Okay. Supposedly, it was a tiny village that was abandoned due oh. to a toxic gas leak from a nearby mine. I don't know why, I was thinking more so like radiation, but that makes sense too. Ever since then, <laughs> the whole area has been restricted. You know, just an accidental toxic gas leak, those happen. <laughs> You know, a peacekeeper tripped over a toxic gas container. I, I'm sure it was an accident. Due to toxic gas. However, there are lots of rumors about the restricted area. For example, they even say it's a corpse oh. disposal facility where bodies from Kanai Ward are dumped off. Ew, it was gonna be like a creepy chapter, isn't it? Bodies are being dumped there? Jesus. I'm going to assume that's false seems to be in the same vein as ghost stories and urban legends. Still, this restricted area is certainly worth looking into. Very well. I'll take care of it. Huh? Okay. You will? Uh, You're not asking to be paid first? <laughs> no, no, yes, I'm definitely asking to be paid first. I've taken this job from the World Detective Organization. Okay, really? I'll bill oh. <laughs> all expenses to them. And believe me, kid, they got a lot of money. Isn't that great, Master? <laughs> You won't go further into debt. Oh, man. Yeah, for real. Extort them for money, not little Yuma. Thank you, Harold Hale. Hi, Weeby. I have a good suggestion for a fan fangan after you finish Raincode. It's called Danganronpa 64. It features 16 characters from games and movies. It's already on Chapter 3. It's really good. Okay, interesting. I've heard of Danganronpa 69. I think that also has characters from different games, mostly. I think that one was like... 
I think it started out as a meme, but I think people did say it kind of gets serious at some point. Or <laughs> like, a, you know, it gets pretty like intense or people like really enjoy its story more than it just being kind of meme -y. But yeah, I don't know if I've heard of 64. I'll check that out. I think 69 is finished, if I believe so. And thank you, Pigboy99. Thanks for the streams, Weeby. I had to, oh no. I had to put my dog down recently and this is really helping cheer me up. Oh man, I'm so sorry. That is just the worst, man. I hate that. But um, yeah, I hope they're in a better place and I uh, hope you're feeling okay. Gosh, I mean, I just, I know whenever like I lose, when I've lost like a pet, like when we had to put our dog down when I was um, growing up, it was just so sad. It's really like losing a family member. So I hope you're, I hope you're doing okay. And I'm glad the streams are able to help you out some. I was growing tired of the legwork. Extracting information from people is miserable for me. I'll handle the restricted area. You take over the legwork. Okay. Keep asking around for more information. I kind of want to go to the restricted area, though. It sounds cool. I love horror stuff. I want to go to the scary corpse, corpse factory area. Now that that's taken care of, let's be quick. I won't allow time to be wasted. Um, stay safe. You as well. Oh. Alara is so cool. Such an awesome detective. Nothing will happen to them, right? Right? They are kind of going off into like a creepy restricted area by themselves. That won't be the last time we see Halara, right? Right, guys? They'll be good. Halara's a badass. It's, it's okay. Well, <laughs> I'm just going to hope for the best. Hey, Master. The Blatty's swooning. Halara's going <laughs> to steal your girl. <laughs> yeah, it's not really my girl, but whatever. I guess, yeah, it also has toxic gas there. Surely they'll be okay, but I don't know. I feel like I was picking up on a little bit of death flags of like See you guys later gonna go to the toxic gas cemetery Restricted area nothing bad will happen to me. Don't worry. Don't worry. I will definitely see you next chapter It's just a little I don't know just a little, a little Worrisome we'll see I can't blame her for admiring Halara I'll admit, I have nothing to offer. Lara <laughs> outshines me in every way. I wasn't gonna say anything, Yuma, but... <laughs> Why do you sound so proud? <laughs> yeah, Lara is awesome. Yuma, let's keep up the legwork. Yeah, let's go. Oh. Hey, they're dressed Why like me. Stop all Kinda. Of that man just now... Wasn't a man, it looked like a little kid. You know him? Is he a peacekeeper? No, that's not quite it. The last time I saw him, he fled after seeing my face. Oh uh, yeah, we have been seeing this person a lot, haven't we? Huh? Why? I think the first time I saw him was back when I arrived in the city. Oh, man. Yet it seems like he knows me. Otherwise, that reaction back then wouldn't make sense. Somebody from my past? Could he have something to do with my past? Kurumi, please wait right here. I'm going to chase after him. I don't really know if anybody at Kana Award would really know us, but I don't know, unless it's like another WDO person. Huh? Wait, I'll go too! <laughs> there he is. I love how uh, nosy Kurumi is. She's just like me for real. Does he work at the stand? Hey! Oh, you oh the what the? <laughs> what? Is he a beaver? Is that Bucky? Is that is that Bucky, the mascot from Bucky's? <laughs> oh man, I should have worn my Bucky's T-shirt today. <laughs> it looks just like him. What is this dude? Was it, is he a homunculus, like a human crossed over with a beaver? <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, welcome. Uh. uh -huh. Another beaver looking guy. Oh, he's got a unibrow too. Okay. Oh, Badoof too. It, oh my god, he does kind of look like Badoof. I wasn't sure if I liked your ramen at first, but it's strangely <laughs> addictive. What is this place? The beaver ramen shop? <laughs> Thank you. It's all due to my research of people's preferences in this city. <laughs> oh, so you're working hard then. <laughs> yeah. I felt confident about the flavor, but no one was willing to try it at first. Okay. So then I tried copying those popular meat buns, but people saw right through it. Less and less customers came by. 
But after some self-reflection and some research, I've finally gotten it to where it is now. So the secret ingredients <laughs> to your success are hard work and sweat. <laughs> I can't get it. I think it's just like the uwu eyes too, like the super like light white in the eyes. That's very kind of you. It's my pleasure. <laughs> oh you might my even God. get more popular than those meat buns. <laughs> Eating the ramen here fills me with joy. I like how you put wood pieces in there. Oh, it reminds me of home. Thank you. It's just a conversation with the customer at a ramen place. Doesn't seem that suspicious. Have you seen what they look like? I think they're getting experimented on. Yeah. Shinigami, does that guy look familiar to you? I feel like he has something to do with my past. Which guy? The first guy? I just felt, kind of felt like it might have been the ramen shop owners, because I felt like the person that was following us looked kind of short, but I don't know. Nope, don't know him. Really? <laughs> I'm not lying. If I'm lying, I'll do a handstand while naked. You would want to do that anyways. You're practically naked already. Kurumi, sorry for making you come with me. Looks like I was mistaken. But if there's something you want to know, maybe you should ask directly. You might find something out. Just be like, hey, mister, why are you stalking me? That always works out great. No, I think I'm okay. Don't want to get in the way of his business. Anyway, let's continue with the legwork. Okay. Well, if you're okay with it, Yuma. Right, <laughs> so weird. Let's do this. <laughs> it's like the runaway experiments from the secret. I'm honestly kind of wondering. I was like, I was kind of a thing. Well, I was like, is that a thing with like homunculus sometimes? I feel like. I've heard of that in some kind of piece of fiction where, you know, they like fuse a human with like a lion or something. It's like, do they fuse them with like beavers? <laughs> I don't know, Just it's just a question. Thank you, in our China 20 rows. Imagine instead of Halara death flag, Weeby has cursed in Viv Vivio with the title screen. No, it's okay. It's just, he's good. No, 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 no. He's, he's good. Cause you know, I don't know. I was, like, was going to say somebody that beautiful wouldn't die, but that doesn't really track, I feel like, with, with Tongan Rapa games either, so don't really know if his beauty would protect him. Damn it. It's, it's okay, though. He's going to be good. He'll he'll get through it. He has he has skills, which we haven't seen any of them yet, but he can he can get through it. <laughs> he can get through Time it. Time to ask around about this secret lab. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Time to investigate. Robot researcher Akira is his name. He's poured his whole being into Amapal. Okay, I guess it's a little All robot right. buddy's name. Time to do some legwork. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay, I guess I need to go into. Why is it kind of? Oh, there it is. I get a little confused sometimes when I look at the map. Okay, talk to somebody down here. This chick, I guess. Hey, guess what? Huh? Ew. Huh? I just heard the most amazing rumor. I don't know why, but I love when Yuma does that noise. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like Scooby-Doo or something. Huh? Uh, would it happen to be about a secret lab? Um, what's that? No, I heard the lady down the block is cheating on her husband. Oh, this girl's just like me. Okay, I was like, she's about to be just like me, where she's just like, um, no, I just watched the newest episode of uh, LA Housewives, and there was some drama. I was like, it's like, no, that's not really what we're what we're looking for. Isn't that so interesting? Not really. I think it's interesting, gossipy woman. I'm right there with you. Masters I'm right there with you. Ears. Okay. Seems like there's somebody else down here. We haven't really gone to that store. There's like a yeah. another kind of store it's around sure here. Easy watching over some rookie detective. Oh, here we go. This dude. <sighs> what is it? Uh um, um, don't talk to me. I'll kick your ass. Huh? Uh-huh. Oh, no. Um, we better not talk to this guy. Wow, that, that was so, some good information. I was thinking about this place. We haven't really been here yet. Oh, oh, oh. What are you laughing at? What are you laughing about? Sketchy. Okay, I guess we can go up. I know, I was like, I kind of want to hear more about the woman who was cheating on her husband. No, Yuma, come on, let's go back. I want to hear I want to hear the deets. I want to hear the gossip. How long were they together for? Who'd you cheat on him with? Was he hotter? 
Do you need something? Um, um, do you know anything about a secret lab? Beats me. Doesn't ring a bell. Thank you very much. I see. Thank you. You're actually doing the lab work like a real detective now. Yeah, this is not going Thanks, well at all. Shinigami. Hey, have you guys heard about Secret Labs and Homunculus? It's like, yeah, man, I just read Full Metal Alchemist. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Talking about in real life, bro. Okay. Um. Um, excuse me, I'd like to ask you something. Have you heard about a secret lab? Um, it sounds familiar. <laughs> or maybe not, I don't know. You got anything in it for me? Any, any money? Hey. Um, does anything come to mind? Anything at all? Oh, I think I saw a movie once with a similar title. It was a comedy about stupid scientific experiments. <sighs> um, which of course is totally unrelated. Man, this is some good ass investigating. <laughs> so glad we did this. God, we're getting so many leads. Thank God you told me to do this, Shinigami. <laughs> okay, where was it? Uh, I guess we're like over here. Okay, yeah, she's in this little alley. Thank you, Theresa DL. Vivia dies and Weeby suddenly crying with a green cube in her hand. <laughs> Surely he won't get turned into a cube, even if he does die. Surely not. I can't. I can't take. I can't take another character turning into a cube. I just like try to play Minecraft after this, and I'm like, no, it's too. It's too soon. I can't look at all these blocks. Everything reminds me of her. It reminds me of him. <laughs> okay, let's talk to her. Uh, um. Um, uh, um, excuse me, uh, may I ask you something? Um, of course, I hope I can be of assistance. And that's what happened. Do you know anything about the and that's what happened? You know anything about the secret lab where the homunculus running the city? Um, uh, I think I'm gonna call you to a psychiatric ward. The secret lab, I'm sorry, but I don't think I've ever heard of it before. These people probably think I'm insane. I see, thank you very much. Have you heard about the secret lab and the lizard people running the city? <laughs> um, no, random child. I have not heard about that. Weird, huh? Amapal! Different versions of Amapal exist, but among the scarce limited edition releases, there is evidently a bear... A bear variant? What? Oh my god, is Monokuma here? <laughs> wait, 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 wait a second. I need to see the Monokuma Amapal. I guess talking to people around town doesn't feel of much info. <laughs> For some reason, the bear version's always talking about murder, and it comes with some Pepto-Bismol. It's kind of weird, but you know, it's whatever. We've been walking since the morning. I'm so tired. Me too. My legs are so stiff. But you're flying. <laughs> it's about to get dark, so let's just call it a day and return to the agency. Wait, are you sure? Oh. Huh? Huh? There's no need to be polite, if that's your intention. There's still one more place to go, right? Okay. Where's that? Is she being sus or am I just being, uh... Or am I just being paranoid? The place with that masked guy. Isn't he the CEO of Amaterasu Corporation? Okay, I guess so. Maybe you'll find the answer if you ask him. That's what you were thinking too, right, Yuma? Or... Were you thinking of not bringing me with you because it's too dangerous? I'm the city's best informant. <laughs> I know my way around dangerous stuff. <laughs> the city's best informant is a high school girl. It's like, yep, sounds very... Sounds very anime. No, I'm not avoiding him for your sake, Kurumi. Personally, I don't know if he can be trusted. I think it's best we don't get involved yeah. with him. Literally lies every time we see him. It kind of creeps me out. I agree. Master, even though you always rely on others, we should avoid that guy. But do you really need to trust someone to get information out of them? You need to be bold enough to use people to get the info you need. I feel like that guy's literally just gonna start telling us the plot of like Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> If we ask him, <laughs> like, no, no, that's truly what it is. It's truly what's going to happen. Well, that's what my grandpa used to say anyway. It's worth the shot, don't you think? Be bold enough to use people? Maybe that applies to detectives as well. Hmm. Kurumi, you're more fit to be a detective than I am. She is being kind of pushy. I mean, I guess 
she just wants to get to the truth? I don't know, yeah. I'm, I'm such an overly like, suspicious person when it comes to these games, so we'll see. That's not true. I'm just an informant. Also, I don't want to return to the agency empty-handed. Let's do as much as we can now. Yeah, let's go. Aww, I already warned you, but it looks like you made up your mind. The masked man Makoto Kagutsuchi lives Kagutsuchi. on the top floor of Kanai Tower. My probably long-lost brother. I hope I can get to him without any issues. Okay. When are we going to meet up with Vivia, by the way? Karumi, um, it better not be your chapter, because I titled this, and I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> I'm going to be really upset if I don't get to hang out with Vivia. Um, let me look at the map, actually, really quickly. Is it... Yeah, yeah, Kanai Tower. I guess I can maybe just quick travel there, right? I don't know if there's any point to not do that. I guess just if I wouldn't do, like, missions or something. But yeah, you know, Karumi, you're cute and all, but like, I need Vivia, okay? I got, I got teased that he was gonna be here. <laughs> I titled my stream accordingly, so let's just, just, you know, <laughs> just switch it up. Come on, <laughs> where's my husband? Whoa, you really appreciate. Oh, didn't mean to cut you off there. He should be at the top floor of this tower. I see it all the time from far away. I kind of think it's a nice sword given how big it is. Is there even any other, like, I don't know, rooms besides his? It kind of just looks like a, literally like an Eiffel Tower with like a penthouse on top. It's like, does anybody else even live here? But seeing it so close confirms it's actually worse than I thought. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, lease agreements are available, but the monthly rent cost as much as a luxury car. Think the slaughter artist? What? A hitman predominantly active in Kana. It's rumored that whole. God dang it. <laughs> they go too quickly. It was really easy to get inside. I thought security would be tight around here. Hi, Yuma. Welcome back. Come on in. Welcome back? I've been here once before. You know, it's whatever. Well, I guess if he says we can go in, let's just do it. Okay. I thought you'd be visiting me right around <laughs> now. I just planted the seedling in the pot. I've been waiting for you to arrive, brother. We'll have some juicy melons in about six months. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> He's such a weirdo. Wow, he's just as suspicious as always. There isn't a single security guard. Don't you think that's kind of careless given the situation? <laughs> what is that with the, like, pay me like one of your French girls pose. <laughs> Any hired security would likely be spies or hitmen. Humans cannot be trusted. I leave security in the care of machines. <laughs> Naturally, they're made by Amaterasu Corporation. You were only okay. able to enter so easily because I programmed security to let you in. You got the on the pal security guy is working for you or something? I see. Thank you. Don't be a stranger. We're friends after all. <laughs> I hate that sprite. <laughs> it's Although, so weird. I didn't expect you to bring your girlfriend. Um, I'm from Etheria Academy. I'm... Kurumi Wendy, right? Oh. I know you. You're the city's only informant. Oh. Okay, you know her too? Dang. Huh? <laughs> um, I'm not actually the city's only informant. I just kind of lie about that to make myself seem cool in front of Yuma. I love this city, so I know everything about it. Naturally, since you live here, that includes you. Isn't it obvious? Really? <laughs> know everything about everyone. Um... Do you really know everything about this city? Of course. <sighs> okay. He just is so posing like that. <laughs> no, no, this is how I always sit. <laughs> Girl, you can't even do anything. <laughs> Look at cat, bro. Going up and down. Okay. I heard there's a secret lab somewhere in Kanai War. You're going there straight out the gates? Hmm. Well, do you know about it? 
A secret lab, huh? Of course I know about it. No. I'm the CEO of Amaterasu, after all. Okay, you gonna give us some BS address or something, though? What? Really? We'll see. Please tell us about it. What is the secret lab? Come on, new song. Where is it, and what's happening there? Now, now, calm down. While I can listen to 12 people speak at once, I have only one mouth I can answer with. So first, where is that lab, you ask? It's inside Amaterasu headquarters. Okay. I don't know, it's so hard to believe anything this guy says. Huh? That sounds about right, but I don't know. We'll inside see. Inside Amaterasu? It's not in the restricted area? That fly! She strung us along on a whim! Stop it! We have other stuff to worry about now! What's wrong? Was it so sensible that you didn't expect it? Isn't it rather only internal personnel can enter Amaterasu Corporation? It's the most secure place in this city. I guess it's like too obvious, you know? Okay, so there's a shard in here. I see, I see people saying there's a shard in here. Hopefully I can still get it. So... Oh, I already got it? Okay. Then, right? Okay, never mind. It seems like I might have already gotten it. Of course. But it's not as suspicious as you might think. Please tell us more. Oh. What is happening in there? <laughs> Are they just making the little Ama pals in there? You really want to know about the research that badly? Let's see. Yes, I do. I guess it could just be they're making the robots to like spy on everybody in the city, you know what I mean? First, you must tell me the reason behind it. Why do you want to know about this secret lab? The reason? I don't think it's it smart to disclose that it's a directive from the World Detective Organization. After all, aren't you speaking to the head of Amaterasu Corp? I know. I'm here to take advantage of him, <laughs> not the other way around. Yuma, I don't know if you're, <laughs> I'm really going to be able to succeed at that. <laughs> you're frowning. What's on your mind? Don't tell me. I have an inkling. Don't worry. I'm on your side. Yeah, right. If you're worried about my wordage, then let me put it another way. At the very least, I am not your enemy. Okay. In fact, I believe you detectives may be saviors who shall right all wrongs here in Kanai Ward. That's why I gave you the submarine after all. <clears throat> right now, I'm trying to investigate Kanai Ward's hidden secrets. I've learned about the immortal monsters known as homunculi. The existence of a secret lab may be related. Could it be that homunculus research is being conducted in that lab? <laughs> no, we just make the Monokuma dolls in there. No biggie. Thank you, Shadow R. Midnight. I'm not one for pretty privileges, so trust me when I say that you will absolutely love Vivia a billion times more after this. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we see him soon. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Appreciate ya. Research on those immortal monsters. <laughs> immortal monsters? Oh, you're so full of it, kid. Speaking of which, you did ask me what I knew about homunculi. No matter how strange this town may be, no such monsters exist here. Eh. It's impossible for that kind of research to be done in Kanai Ward. Eh. The only ones in this city are the people I love. There are no monsters to be had here. Does that mean it's like outside Kanai Ward? That's such a specific thing to say. It's impossible for that kind of research to be in Kanai Ward. <laughs> I mean, slightly outside of the city limits, though, anything's impossible. <laughs> it's kind of what it seems like. But the resistance leader was certain homunculi exist. It's true. My grandpa told me that kind of research was being done. Well, it is true that Amaterasu does many kinds of research. Maybe they appear suspicious to those left uninformed. Was the restricted area technically outside of uh, Kanai Ward? Because it could be done there, right? For example, in regenerative medicine, we conduct research on cell regeneration and develop pharmaceutical drugs. Okay. But I've never heard about creating immortal monsters. <laughs> That's crazy. You're so crazy, Yuma, for thinking that. Now guards arrest him. Then homunculi don't exist? I can answer your question easily enough. However, you won't be convinced no matter what I say. 
Yeah, he's not answering like exactly this thing. He's like kind of avoiding it. He just said there was none in Khan Award. I bet it's some kind of like sort of kind of like tap dancing around the actual truth sort of thing. Well, I didn't say there was. It's like I didn't say that it didn't exist. Just that there's not any in Khan Award. Okay. So why don't you go and see the answer for yourself? See the answer? How? If you come with me. You can get into the secret oh. lab. You could go and see for yourself. Okay. Huh? Are you sure? Actually, this is great timing. I was already considering inviting you there. <laughs> Why? What do you mean? <laughs> Such a weirdo, dude. Well, I can go into more detail at the lab. However, I can only bring one person. I can't keep an eye on a big group. The more people there are, the higher chance you'll be found by the peacekeepers. Is it bad if they find us? Oh, they just murder you, turn you into a cube. It's no big deal, though. Thank you, Slime Boys. Appreciate the donation. Thank you. Hope you're having a good day, too. That area is off limits to non employees with no exceptions. It's the heart of Amaterasu Corporation, so to speak. What about me? Can I follow you? I said only one may enter. I'm fine with it if you wish to go instead of Yuma. No, I'll go. Please take me to the secret lab. Okay. Yuma. I too agree you should be the one to go. Going there comes with risking your life. Even though I'm with you, you should be well prepared for that. Master, you sure it's going to be okay? I have a really bad feeling about this. But we're slowly inching toward the truth. I can't retreat now. Yeah, this does seem like a really bad idea. It's like, why can't she come along? Yeah, he was calling it a big group. It's like, there's two of us, bro. It's not, it's not that, that many more people. And that's like twice the amount of people, Weeby. I can't, I can't do that. I can only, only focus on one person at a time. That settles it. I have some things to take care of. So let's meet up later. Let's see. How about we meet at the station? You should go and talk to your friends before then. <laughs> you know, say your final goodbyes. I mean, just say say hello to them beforehand. It's no big deal. It might be the last time you see them. The last time? Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Okay, just gonna put it straight out like that. Which reminds me. I want you to keep that we're visiting the lab a secret from your friends. Okay. I feel like I've seen you saying some weird stuff, Azuko. So I'm gonna put you in timeout. Okay. I wish to keep things peaceful. We'll go quietly, take a look, then head back. Understand? Yes. I'll see you later then. Okay, let's see. Man, this is gonna be a Makoto chapter. Where's Vivia? <laughs> I was promised Vivia by nobody except myself. <laughs> <laughs> Indoor dryers are very popular in Kanai Ward. Amatara's Corporation, new Kakatsuki Ma. Oh, it's named after him? It's quite excellent. Just, you know, <sighs> decided to name some laundry appliances after myself. We should go back to the Nocturnal Detective Agency for now. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, she's. I don't know, she's kind of acting weird. I guess she just wants to come along to investigate, but I guess we'll see. Romance is in the air. Uh, what? I feel like she just wants to be involved. And let me know if there's any more shards, guys. Hopefully, uh, I think I probably already got the one. I think I probably already got the other one, right? That's what people were saying. Where is it? Robot researcher. Oh, yeah. His catchphrase, when my time comes, I want to be... By Ama, I want it to be by Ama Pal's hand. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, Kira, you little weirdo. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, the mask is different every morning for Makoto. I'll have to read that later. He is a little murderer robot, isn't he? Ah, <laughs> <Aww>, Ama Pal. <laughs> Just a little guy. Just a little guy. <laughs> When I die, I want it to be by Ama Pal's hand. Specifically the robot Monokuma version. 
Oh god. Okay. Thank the slaughter artists. Rumor that'll kill any target regardless of difficulty. Ah oh, man, I never get to read all of that one. Where is it? Okay, this way. I try saving the game? Okay, well just in case. I honestly need to save more often. I feel like I don't save often enough at all. See, there he is! This is this is what I've been promised, game. You better deliver. You better deliver. See, he popped up on the save file. That means it's his chapter. Get out, get out of here, Karumi. <laughs> oh, God. God, I am so thirsty. Thank you, in our China 20 Rose. Before you meet Makoto, I would do any side quest shards to get. Oh, okay, interesting. Man, is it already gonna be going, um, I don't know. Are we going that fast, I guess? We'll see. Chief, I'm back. I guess I'll do it after uh, I talk to them, maybe? Hmm? Oh. Oh. Oh no, my my camera was blocking it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cover him up. I'll show it again later. Wait, actually, can I show it now? This is important. This is very important. Oh, you can kind of see him now anyways. Look at him. Oh, he's down here. I guess because the autosave data. Oh, he's so beautiful. Oh, Vivia, when will you show up? <laughs> Too many other characters. Was that a letter? I guess even Fussheads have pen pals. His hair has nothing to do with the letter. <laughs> There's still some time before the meetup. Okay. Maybe now's a good time for goodbyes and fa hey, goodbyes and farewells. <laughs> you know, since you're gonna fucking die. Seeing your gloomy face, I guess I shouldn't have to ask. You're getting into trouble again. There's no need to rush it. And good job, Karumi. Now that you're here, why don't you make yourself at home? Thank you. If you don't mind. I guess she'll be safe here, at least. It might be the last time you see them. <laughs> Makoto. The last time. So sussy. I'm about to go someplace very dangerous. After all... It's a secret lab inside of Amaterasu Corporation. Chief Yaku helped me so much. And now, I might not ever see him again. What's wrong, Yuma? <laughs> you look awfully tired. Just contemplating my existence. No big deal over here. I might die. Hey, you better not have gotten mixed up in some strange trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not me. N no, that's not it. You sure? Oh, all right. You made the same face when we first met the Amaterasu Express. Things were completely crazy back then. Frankly, I'm surprised you even survived. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Thank you. For everything. So, did you get any of your memories back since then? No, not at all. I see. Well, don't worry about it. <laughs> you can live without your past memories. Sometimes... You're better off for getting yeah. them all together. Damn. I do kind of wonder what Yako's been through. I feel like he's probably been through a lot. Is your past like that, Chief Yako? Was it implied that he got a family or, or that he like had a family or used to have a family or did I just imagine that? Hmm? Yeah, most of it. The things I want to forget, things that I can't forget. Right. I have zero interest in Buzzhead's past. I was wondering... Do you have some kind of forte? Huh? Me? <laughs> I don't got a forte at all. I'm no master detective. Just a regular one. He's like, oh, <laughs> lame. I trained at the WDO when I was younger, but I never managed to attain my own forte. Okay, so it was implied. I was like, just trying to make sure I didn't uh, pick that up. <laughs> but to be clear, that's the norm. Halara and Fubuki are pretty exceptional. My colleagues who couldn't become master detectives gave up on their entire detective careers. You never gave up? <laughs> it's my pride as a failure. <laughs> Besides, there's something I want to protect oh. in this town. Okay, so is his wife still around? Honestly, I kind of assumed that he like had a family, but he like lost them at some point, especially with those implications of like, I don't know, like things I want to forget or whatever, you know what I mean? 
I guess like, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I'm sure we'll learn about him later. Probably next chapter, but we'll see. What's that? Oh, is it a lover? Mm, you're fairly close, but that's not exactly oh, it. Oh, okay. To me, this town is my life. My bitter past, my fun memories, they're all right here. Okay, maybe he did lose them, and then, um, you know, now he just wants to protect the town to keep the memories or whatever. I just wanted to protect the happiness I found within arm's reach. Okay. But it wasn't easy. It was too much for me to handle on my own. And as a result, mm -hmm. I lost everything. I was an empty shell until you all came along. Ah, uh, poor Yako. Please. Help me save this city! So that's what he was feeling when he said that. I think I finally understand the weight of those words. I wonder how much the chief has lost in this place. Compared to that, my memories seem insignificant. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, a detective grows stronger the more he is lost. In that sense, you have a lot of potential, Yuma. No, I'm just... Hang on. Don't get me wrong here. I'm worried day and night you'll get us dragged into even more trouble. Yeah, Yuma has kind of been the one dragging them into everything. S sorry Please don't get in over your head. Okay. Is he not here? Where are you, Vivia? Come on, I know you're a homebody. I know you're in here somewhere. Are you hiding in there? You can't hide from me, Vivian. <laughs> oh, but he just knows that I'm exponentially down bad. <laughs> trying to hide. Hide away from me, but you can't hide. <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide, Vivian. <laughs> I will get that screen time, damn it. I know. I um, may be overstepping my bounds by saying I'm worried about you. No, it's okay. I don't want to suspect her because she seems sweet, but... I don't know. It's just so hard for me not to suspect people. <sighs> wow, it's even more romantic now. That's not even... I feel like Vivia just climbed up the fireplace. He's just like, <laughs> climbed up there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I will avoid this fangirl with my life. <laughs> I'll fucking hunt you down, Vivia. Huh? What's wrong? I, nothing at all. Hey, come on. If something's bothering you, talk to me about it, okay? I'm still chief of the detective agency that's overseeing you. Understood. Thank you. Even if you wanted to, there's nothing you can say to him now. Especially after he told you to stay out of trouble. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> sorry, chief. <laughs> yeah. Just about to go to the secret lab where they create homunculi. No big deal. No biggie. Master, I think it's time. Yeah. Um, Chief Yako? What's up? I've just remembered something, so can I go investigate it? Right now? Why don't you wait until tomorrow? Yes, I gotta check it right now. I'm sorry, but I have to go. Aw, oh, poor- Oh, Yuma! <laughs> oh, look hey. at him running up. <laughs> oh, oh, girl, you're not supposed Hold to come! <laughs> Karumi, too? What's going on? Oh, what the- Where were you? I knew you were hiding in the chimney! <laughs> I knew you were up there! He's like, okay, now it's finally safe. Oh, God, she's still here! Oh, you scared me! <laughs> Vivia, were you there the whole time? Oh, God, look at that posture. Oh, Chief, good morning. Like this creepy music. Good morning. Do you even know what time it is? Where did he go? You mean Yuma? He ran out, saying there's something he wants to investigate. Follow, at, follow after him, Vivia, come on. Follow after him. I need the screen time. Thank you, Shadow Our Midnight, Yako. Behave, kids, NDA. Sure, Dad. Yako tears up. <laughs> uh, Yako's such a sweetheart. I love him. Thank you for the donation. Hmm. I see. Like a thunderbolt in spring, the pale blue blink in the far-off night sky. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I love it. Soon, a storm will arrive. <laughs> the smile! 
<laughs> Soon a storm will arrive when I cut his throat. Well, what was that? N nothing, nothing, Chief. Huh? <laughs> he is dangerous. Oh, shit! What did you say? Oh, <laughs> what? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> I just want to stay asleep. <laughs> You're so creepy, Vivio! Look at Yako. It's like, Yako, I feel like you did hear that. You just want to pretend you didn't. I want to die someday. Don't do that. Stop it. Wait, you're going back to sleep? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> uh, he's just like me, for real. Huh. Oh, man. Ah, baby. Ah! Come on. Come on. Just come on. Uh, he's so beautiful. He's so interesting. Man, he really, he really do be wanting to kill me, though. I don't even know if we're really going to be investigating with him. I feel like he's just going to kind of, I guess, be looking for me all chapter. Trying to slay me. Willa. Please come back safely. Take care. It makes me worried how she said that so solemnly. I feel like a soldier going to war. I mean, it's the same thing. Hey, this can be even worse than the battlefield. Uh, uh. We should okay. head to Kanai Station and meet up with Makoto. I guess, uh, is now a good time to do the side quest, is what y'all were saying? It kind of does seem like, uh... I know at least some of y'all said that. I guess I'm supposed to go to Kanai Station. Maybe I should at least, yeah, try to do, like, a little bit before that. Ah! Uh, I wonder, yes, I wonder when he's gonna kind of show up. Kind of seems like we're gonna be doing our own thing until, I guess, he... <laughs> Comes to murder our ass. <laughs> Dr. Huesca. He walks around barefoot in the lab. This isn't for anything health related. He simply feels time spent putting on shoes and socks is better used on research. Yeah, that just takes so much, uh, so much time. Do the church request? Yeah, I love these requests. Okay. Okay, it seems like people, yeah, want me to do the requests. Oh, cool. There's this one. I'll do the church one later since I'm already here. Who's this guy? Some emo dude. Off-brand Vivia. Hey, you. You came to see her too, right? What? Huh? Who are you talking about? Oh, is this where... Is Fabuki still working here? Oh, my God. I'm talking about that mega cute waitress. She's something of a legend around here. She has such a graceful air about her. And she's really stupid and naive, man. Her, vo <laughs> her voluptuous body can't be concealed by her small, tiny uniform. She talks like she might be a bit of an airhead. She is so easy to manipulate. I mean, um, I would never. Her radiant smile purifies the soul. The coffee she brews is hot, bitter, and thick. It tastes like shit, but we don't even care. I think she literally probably puts dirt in it. <laughs> Something Fabuki would do. I'm gonna get some more coffee ground. Just goes outside and gets dirt. <laughs> like, puts it in the machine. It looks like coffee ground. It's brown like that. Maybe. Is he talking about Fabuki? You think so too, right? Huh? Um, well, um, right, right, I knew you were, you and I were kindred spirits, man. Oh my God, I can feel a fellow Mitch in my presence. No. No, well that's, that's not, but I won't accept you so easily. <laughs> what? What, I gotta do some trials to be introduced into your horny little club? The strength of your conviction must be tested. Huh? What? Um, good luck with that, Master. I'm gonna take a nap. Is this a detective request? <laughs> this has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> Question one. I'll start with something easy. Was she wearing her hair tied back? Uh, um, uh, ca kind of? I think. She kind of has her hair. I feel like she has like a half ponytail, doesn't she? Wait a second. Look at the art that I have on here of Fabuki. I want to like not even be Fabuki. We just like think it's her. Yeah, she's got her hair. She's like in a braid. Okay. Tied back. That's true. Her hair was tied back, I think. Correct. That was too easy. Uh huh. Is this Dezuhiko? Yeah, in disguise like an emo dude. Time for question two. This one's not too tough either. How many piercings does she have in her right ear? Huh? Piercings? Um, this guy's a weirdo, dude. Uh, three, I think? 
Wait, let me look at this. <laughs> I'm just like looking at the thumbnail I made her for the other day. Ah, oh, crap, I can't even really see. Isn't it like two or three though? I think it's something like that, right? Right, girl? You got three. You got three, I think. Or maybe it's two. Maybe I'll go with two. It kinda looks like two, I can't remember. Uh, we'll, we'll do two. It's sorry, wrong. Oh, God damn it. That was my gut. Ah, oh, damn it. Thank you, Jean Philippe Hontons. Request become a simp. <laughs> oh, but become a psycho stalker. Oh, man. Thank you for the donation. Appreciate you. Sorry, wrong answer. She has three piercings in her right ear. <laughs> damn it. I got it wrong. Right no, damn it. I can't join your pervert club. No. What shall I do with my life? Two are blue and one is gold. You need to dig deep into those memory banks, man. You fucking loser. <laughs> There's no way I can accept you as a kindred spirit if you can't even answer the simplest of questions. Study her greatness, then return to me. <laughs> oh, forgive me, Fabuki. I'll try once I'm ready. <laughs> fucking weirdos, dude. Oh, God. Okay, let's look at her profile really quickly. <laughs> Okay, is she, uh... I don't know what other questions he would ask. Okay, I can kind of see the three piercings now. What a fucking weirdo. I would never... I would never be a weird simp. <laughs> and talk about somebody and objectify them like that. That is so not me. Especially not for a character whose name rhymes with Mivia Mylight. <laughs> I would never... I would never be like this loser. This is literally me if Vivia worked at the coffee shop. <laughs> it's you, you ready to take my quiz again? Uh, I guess so, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm ready. Seem prepared, let's begin. Question one, I'll start with something easy. Was she wearing her hair tied uh. back? Yeah, she was wearing it tied back. That's true. Her hair was tied back, I think. Correct! You can't think, man. You gotta know. That was too easy, huh? Time for question two. This one's not too tough either. How many piercings does she have in her right ear? Uh. How many piercings does she have? <laughs> three! Correct! She has three piercings in her right ear. Three! All right. You know, this guy heard me simping over Vivia. That's how he knew I was a kindred spirit. <laughs> Incidentally, her left ear has three gold piercings and one pink for a grand total of four piercings. Okay, four in total. On to question three. Yes. All right, let's do this. What is her name? Hmm? Huh? What do you think? It's a tough one, right? Uh. I'm... Fabuki, master detective. <laughs> um, I mean, I should do her full name, right? Right? Is she? It's like she might have just told him her first name, but whatever. We'll just do the full name. How? How did you know that? I didn't even know that until recently. Oh my god, you are truly the biggest simp here. Sh sure. I don't think I should tell him we work together. He might murder me, but it's not over yet. Oh, there's another one? Here's the final task. Bring me something that would make her make Fabuki happy. Oh my god, I totally have a chance with her, right, bro? Yeah, sure, faceless NPC. If you can do that, I'll accept you into the club. <sighs> um, like we'd even want to be a part of that club, I snore. So, will you do it? Uh, I... I guess... <laughs> what an amazing yes. detective challenge I've taken on today. <laughs> Very, very important case. <laughs> Fine, I accept your challenge. You got guts, but I wonder if you know the answer. Well, uh, do you? Of course. Uh, uh, um, uh, of course, I know. I know exactly what she wants. I heard it myself. After all, come on, dude. You're totally just using me. <sighs> um, why is he trying to make that sound like a big deal? Go on now. Say. Um, do you have any ideas, Master? No. I noticed this when we were going through the mystery labyrinth with Fabuki during that case, but Fabuki really likes stuff you might find in an RPG. Oh yeah, she is kind of 
into that sort of stuff. I guess because she always, you know, wants to be an adventurer. Thank you, Breed the Cookie Monster. Hope your trip went well, Weedy. Want to say hi to you in the chat. I'm really excited for San Japan. Also, I see some Yakko Sims here. <laughs> yeah, I feel like everybody in this game has a lot of Sims. Everybody's just so pretty. But thank you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it too. Sorry, Bri, I meant to message you about it too. I'm not. I think I'm going on Friday to San Japan. I'm still not totally sure. Remember, you're asking about that too. But I'm excited to see you there. That'll be so fun. And thank you, uh, Demon30. Hey, I'm the evil dude from last stream. Tell me you to mess with Nico. <laughs> Nico, <laughs> did you do it? Nico didn't say anything about it. Even if you didn't, though, Nico responded well to the massacre. He thinks Shinigami is going to bring them back. Oh, Jesus Christ, the Delulu. No, I didn't. I was about to, but I was like, oh, I feel like I'm going to make it too obvious, and I didn't want to, like... I didn't want to, like, be too obvious to, like, you know, spoil it. Uh, I, I wasn't sure, though, because I was, like, looking at some of the comments on his video, like, some of the recent ones, and I felt like some of them were being, like, a little too obvious, and I was like, what if I'm too obvious? And then he figures it out, but I'm glad to see he's still Delulu. <laughs> that he thinks Shinigami's gonna bring them back. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you for the donation, though. Appreciate ya. If... Kamisaki District has all kinds of shops, so maybe we'll find something there. Her name is Fubuki, the legendary waitress. <laughs> oh, Fubuki. Where did he say to go? Kamisaki shops? Kamisaki District? Am I there right now? Um, I think I'm in Kamisaki right now. I think. Right? Where did I go? I can't remember. Eh. Or wait, oh no, I'm in Ginma. Okay, I should go to Kamasaki, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh man, I love how stupid this quest is. Are we gonna learn about Red Rain soon again? I'm kind of looking forward to that. Like, I've been looking forward to that. Oh, there are band they are bandage-like wrappings beneath his coat, so it wouldn't be accurate to call it clothing. He knows he shouldn't be concealing that beauty. <laughs> I really am just like this pervert guy, but just for baby. <laughs> I can't even judge him. To Kanai Station. Let's go. And nope. Um, we we have this very important mission to do right now, Shinigami. Excuse you. Um, do you not hear that we have to buy Fubuki something super important? Oh, hey, we finally do get to go here. Okay. I'm sure. The store I might have what I'm looking for. Oh, I was just about to close shop. Are you interested in buying something? I'm sorry. I'm sorry to keep you. Oh, don't worry about it. Take your time and look around. That's... Huh? That thing the owner has. Could it be? Uh... Hey, that there. Huh? What do you mean? This? I was told it was some kind of legendary metal or something. But it looks like worthless scrap. They really pulled the wool over my eyes. I still have a lot to learn about appraising things like this. Uh, um... Um, would you consider giving it to me, possibly at a very low price, free, <laughs> potentially? Well, if you'll take it off my hands, it's all yours. I was about to toss it out anyways. Thank you very much. Thank you, Karen. Master acquired. Ori Calcium. It <laughs> fake. It's like a random yes. piece of metal. All right, let's go show him. Uh, she is the type of person who would actually just like uh, something completely useless. That just looks like, that just looks like something that would be in a video game. Okay, let's go bring it to him, I guess. And thank you, Ran Shadow R Midnight. What's Weebex Vivia called again? Weebia <laughs> sounds like a Pokemon. Let me see. Uh, we Weebia <laughs> or Vibi? Vibi or Weebia? I kind of like Weebia, <laughs> just cause yeah, I feel like it sounds like a I don't know an evolution of like a Weedle or something. Weevia. You need the special Vivia stone <laughs> to unlock that. Okay, let's talk to you, my my kindred spirit. Uh, uh, that's it. Well, this is what Fubuki was looking for, right? It it can't be a random piece of metal. I admit defeat. She did indeed say she wanted orichalcium. Orichalcium in order to forge the sword of a legend. But I couldn't find it for her. You're now a member of the club. No, you should be the leader, the head simp. Huh? 
I never planned on becoming either. Oh. Come on, Yuma, you were taking this so seriously, dude. He was so upset when he missed a question, Rock. He was like, no, damn it. What will I do with my life if I'm not the leader of the Fabuki cult? Anyways, you can have it if you want. Are, are you sure? Yes. I don't need it. But... Besides... Besides, I have an idea of what Fabuki would say. I'm sure. No true hero would turn their back on the sword of a legend. What is that? A confession of love? Uh. No. No, I, I don't think so. There's no time to lose. I must... <laughs> I must forge the sword of legend become a hero. <laughs> okay, good luck with that one, buddy. <laughs> um, you met a lot of weird fucking people in this city, huh? Um, hey. <laughs> now there's a guy who's living life to the fullest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that was so fucking funny. <laughs> I love that quest. That was great. <laughs> The most stupid, pointless quest <laughs> that there ever was. Yeah, we need a quest to touch some grass now. <laughs> oh, God. Um, let's see. Amaterasu Lab. Underground section of the Amaterasu Corporation. Highly restricted. Um, he has 30 to choose from. I think is what it said about the Makoto mask. Something like that. Okay. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> Nope, I turned it around! Oh, god damn it. <laughs> okay, Aruka, what do you want? Oh, do you want me to like murder somebody or something? Is that what it is? What kind of what kind of crazy shit do you want me to do for you? Huh? Um, is that Aruka? Um Oh, it's it's you. Hey. I'm I'm sorry. Huh? Uh-huh. What are you doing? <sighs> Shachi's dead. Icardi, B, and Serfan betrayed the resistance. They caused so much trouble for you. <clears throat> if that's right, Master was almost captured because of you. Apologize harder. Apologize. No. Well, it was certainly tough, but it's not. But it's nothing you need to apologize for. Somehow you ended up being the most sane person in that, uh, in that whole entire group, huh? What about you, Aruka? How are you doing? Did the peacekeepers not come after you? Is this gonna be like... <laughs> she probably like murdered somebody. She's like, hey, can you bury something for me in the forest? Can you not ask any questions? <laughs> can you bury this uh, trash bag for me really quickly, Yuma? It's uh, a special detective mission. Yes. Um, don't worry about them. They won't catch me that easily. But now that the resistance is in shambles, I'm at a loss. <sighs> I don't know where to go from here. Hmm. Aruka seems really depressed. I'd like to cheer her up somehow. Um, encourage her, I guess. Yeah. It'll be all right. I'm sure your allies will come back soon after they get out of prison. <sighs> Even if they do, Shachi isn't here anymore. There's no one keeping us together. Uh. Um, <laughs> no, I don't know what to say. If only there was someone here who knew Aruka well. <laughs> huh. I guess I gotta find somebody? I need to find like Servan or something? Who else was in that little group? I don't remember. Okay, well, I guess I'll uh... Okay, looks like we go to Kamasaki again maybe to find them. Oh, the old guy, Margula. He was like the only one who didn't get arrested, right? Kind of funny though, yeah. <laughs> Somehow Aruka kind of ended up looking okay from that chapter compared to Icarly. That freaking guy. Um, Detective Deed. Okay, Margula. I just want the record to show that I still think you did it. <laughs> I still think it was you, old man. Mm. It's been a while, Margula. How have you been? Yeah. Well, um, you know. Um, there's something I'd like your help with. <clears throat> oh, great. Something troublesome again. In that case, I'll pass. No. It's about Aruka. Oh? And that's what happened. I ran into her just now, and she seemed really depressed about everything from before. 
I want to help her out. Do you have any idea how to cheer her up? Well, she lo uh, that crazy bitch loves murder, so go on a shooting spree with her, yeah! <laughs> Basically. <laughs> I mean, what else does she like besides shooting stuff? Something does come to mind. Before I tell you, I have a requ- Oh, God damn it! I have a request! Huh? huh? You have a request? Yes, oh. a fetch quest! Ruka isn't the only one with problems, you know? I want you to deliver this to a certain man! Uh, uh, what's inside? Oh my god, it really is a fetch quest. <laughs> oh. Do you really need to know? Maybe. Um, no, I suppose not, but I don't want to be fooled again. You say like a letter or something? Deliver this! Oh, he just said this. It's like a trash bag. <laughs> this trash bag smells oddly human. No more questions! <laughs> Hell, heh, no doubt. That's a fair point. Go ahead and open it. It's just food. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's food. Just like he sa uh, said. Poison food! Who do I deliver this to? Yeah. You should be at the small room in Doya District, the same one you were locked in before. I see. That room, it should be at the far end of Doya District. <clears throat> do that for me and I'll tell you how to help Aruka. Yes. Understood. The small room in Doya District. I feel like he's not going to actually do anything to help us. Maybe that's just my old man phobia coming back. Coming back to haunt me. Where is Doya? Okay. Over here. Like, once we uh, get back, he's like, Okay, so how do we help Aruka again? Wait, who's who's Aruka? What, what was your name again? Where am I? Thank you, Kirby Superstar 44. Real quick, can you talk to a female NPC near the secret club in Kamasaki? Talk to her twice. It'll be worth it. Okay. The secret club in Kamasaki. You mean like the bar we went to before for that other case? I guess so. I'll uh, take a look and see see what happens. Okay, where is this person at? Thank you for the uh, donation. Appreciate ya. Wait, where is it? Said it said it was here, right? Am I was I bored and stupid? Um, yeah, it says. How do I look at the map again? Oh wait, no, no, no. God dang it. Okay, wait. Okay, there, then X. No, god damn it. <laughs> now X. Okay. Um, what is this? Lost in the rain. Is that in that building we went to before? Yeah, it was like the small. Wait, no, resistant hideout. Where is this area again? I think I saw like a little. Mm, no. Stop right there. There it's currently under. Da -da 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 -da. Under arrest. Sure. I had better back off. I had a lot of trouble um, finding that place. The room we were locked in. Um, Is it the other door down here? Maybe? Dee, 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 dee. Gough, gough. Is it? Wait, where the hell am I going? <laughs> oh god, I'm so lost. Wait, okay. Okay, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. We go, no. What the hell? Okay. So I gotta go up here. Thank you, Sum Sumner S, for the donation. Appreciate ya. Place I was locked inside chapter three. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think I, I think it was this way. Okay, now it's all coming back to me. It's all coming back to me. What is this fetch quest he's put us on, man? Are we delivering drugs? It's like, yeah, just deliver these brownies. <laughs> Nothing in those, Yuma. Don't worry about it. No more questions. Oh, I didn't let you send the super chat, Sumner. You can just put it in chat and I'll uh, read it. I know people do have problems with that sometimes. Is that you? Or wait, no, no, it's not you. Okay, it's somebody back. Oh, hey, it's you! Aw, Servant! Aw, I love you, little guy. I don't care what you did. I He didn't mean to. He didn't mean to work with iCarly. Uh, Servan, weren't you arrested? 
Shit, not so loud. What if someone found me? Oh, I get to do the Kokichi voice too. I love it here. S sorry. <sighs> sorry, I have something for you from Margala. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, this helps a lot. Um... Kind of feels weird doing the Kokichi voice for him. Because he's so, uh, he's so wholesome in, for, in comparison. What are you doing here, Servan? Weren't you captured by the peacekeepers? Yeah. Uh, well, you see, I was taken away by that peacekeeper, Gilame, along with Icardi's body. I managed to flee during the commotion from when Director Yomi appeared. Uh -huh. Oh, Slay! I'm not really sure what happened, but Yomi was really pissed off. He took it out on Gilame and the others. Right. Was it because Makoto stopped him? Okay. Okay, nice. Hey, whatever works. I'm happy. I'm happy for my little guy. It was the perfect opportunity for me to make my escape. I see. Then, and then you asked Margala to help you hide. Yeah. yeah, without him, I probably would have collapsed somewhere and gotten captured again. Oh, I'm so glad he's, I'm so glad he's doing good, though. That's great. Then? Could you tell him how thankful I am? Yeah. Sure, no problem. And thanks for the weed brownies, by the way. <laughs> no problem. Anything for you, King. You dropped your crown, by the way. I love Servan. He's so cute. I'm a pal. <laughs> the bear version. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Oh, he has more than 30 minutes to choose? Oh, wait. 30 minutes to choose the mask. Okay. Weird. Okay, time to go back to the old man. I refuse to believe they all became cubes. <laughs> they probably did. I'm kind of sad that Galame, we didn't really get to see that much of her. She seemed like a really funny, kind of interesting character, but I feel like I learned more about her through like these slides than I did like through actual scenes of her, you know what I mean? But yeah, I wanted to see her like fortune telling and stuff. That seemed really funny. At least like see one scene of that, you know? And that's what happened. I delivered the package. He told me he appreciates everything you've done for him. Yeah. I see. Thanks for doing that. Um. Why did you decide to help him out, Margala? Even though he was being threatened, he did betray the resistance. No. Oh. Right. When he first came to me, I considered handing him over to the peacekeepers. But. Oh, damn. But the members of the resistance were like my second family, even though they were all evil fucks. And when it came down to it. Amorturasu is a true villain in all this. They're the ones to blame. I see. I see. Yeah. Sorry for the strange request. Take this and give it to Aruka. Whoa. Uh, a, a gun! <laughs> well, then I was choose to wrap semi-automatic weapons. No. It's just a model gun. I can't, it can't really harm anyone. Can it? Shachi entrusted it to me. He told me to give it to Aruka if something happened to him. Ah, oh, that's kind of sweet. I see. Were her and Shachi together? I couldn't really tell, honestly. So it's a present from Shachi to Aruka. Hmm. There's nothing suspicious about a cat, a cap gun sitting around in a shop like this, after all. Does anybody else notice his cut is just kind of like, I don't know. It's like a bowl cut, kind of. You know what I mean? Like his haircut. It's been really bothering me. It's like. It's like a bowl cut, and then he like shaves the under part of it, like so hard. I don't... <laughs> is that a look? Is that <laughs> is that a look? The water gun's back. Oh my yeah. god, I'm dead. Give it to her along with these words. This is not a real gun. It's a fake and capable of taking a life. There's meaning in that, so don't try it. It's a message from Shachi. Yeah. Understood. I'll make sure to give this to Aruka. Do 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 do. do. <clears throat> I thought about selling it, but I suppose we're both creatures of habits, aren't we, Shachi? Yeah, I do like about these side quests that you get to see more of the character from the previous chapter. That's been nice. Okay. Um, so now I can go back to the clock tower. See, so yeah, it was nice hanging out with a servant that other time, too. I do want to learn more about Red Rain, though. Red Rain! He wanted a comfortable, I wanted red rain. He wanted a bright, I wanted red rain. <laughs> Just change the entire lyrics to that song. <laughs> Just make it about red rain. Okay. Aruka. 
Hey. What is it, Yuma? You need me for something? For now. Yes, I need you to take this. Um. A gun? Oh, finally, I can fucking kill some people. No, 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 wait, stop. And that's what happened. <laughs> it's a present from Shachi. He left it with Margala for safekeeping. No way. From Shachi? Besides. He also wanted to tell you this. This is not a real gun. It's a fake. And capable of taking a life. There is meaning in that. And that's what happened. Those words are part of Shachi's gifts to you. Shachi? Oh, man. She's gonna break down. Yes. Yes. I understand. He may be gone, but I'll keep moving forward. A gun? You there! What are you doing with that? Holy shit! You already caught us? That was so quick! Um... <laughs> We'd better run, Yuma. Yes. Right. Jesus, that was quick. <laughs> it's a Nerf gun. Can't you see a water gun? Don't you know what a water gun looks like? I don't know why, but I like his line too when he's always like, and that's what happened. Vivia's garments. I wonder why he does have the bandages on him. I just kind of figured he was like a chuny, to be honest. To keep the demon inside. <sighs> Closed off. Uh, looks like we got away. Yes. Yes. I don't think we were followed. You have my thanks. Thank you, Yuma. I found a path forward because of you. Even if Shachi's no longer with us, I'll keep the resistance alive. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ugh. <laughs> the resistance is already bad being run by Shachi. Can you imagine if it's ran by this chick with that? No, no, really, I, I don't think you should do that. I don't think... I think maybe you should, uh, not... I think the Resistance is better left dead. How <laughs> use this gun to help create the world Shachi envisioned? Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be great. Are <laughs> you not noticing the crazy eyes, Yuma? As Aruka spoke those words, a smile crept across my face. And nothing bad is ever gonna come from this interaction. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> and as she evilly laughed into the distance, I knew. I knew that I was changing the world for a better place. <laughs> that everything was gonna work out well. Okay, let's go to the church. He wanted a comfortable, I wanted red rain. I do want to hear more about red rain. I was honestly looking forward to that. It'd be kind of sad if they don't. <laughs> if they don't bring it up again. <laughs> Vivia wants to kill me. I want red rain. <laughs> and him. To come kill me. Okay. Whatever makes him happy. Oh, hey, it's the cute nurse. Uh, not a nurse. <laughs> cute uh, nun girl. Okay. Yeah. You came right on time. Huh? huh? Right on time? What is it? You. Remember the last time you went and counseled people? Yes. Uh, yeah, I thought we were all satisfied. Yeah. That's not enough. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I love that. Huh? I love the way he says that. That just isn't enough. Not enough to replace the priest, that is. I don't know what voice to give her. I feel like I kind of gave her a Kazuna voice, but I feel like I shouldn't give people Kazuna voices just because she already has it, you know what I mean? I don't oh, know. no. What are you saying? It's not like I'm a pro or anything. <laughs> Ha! Huh, yes. So what you're saying is you'll do even better next time, correct? No way. You don't mean. Yeah. Time to give out advice. Better than before, right? Oh my god, this quest again? <laughs> oh god dang it. I sucked at this one. Do as the nun asks. Alright. Alright, but it, this time it's not my fault, no matter what happens. Huh? Uh, fine, but be prepared for the consequences. If you mess it up. Now get going! <laughs> You've gotta be kidding! Oh man, I sucked at this last time. <laughs> well, try, I'll try my best though. Thank you, CJ3 Game Dev. Hope you're loving Rain Code. Beat it and it's great. Yeah, I'm really loving it so far. It's been a lot of fun. Definitely uh, glad that this has been uh, such a good game. See, I was a little worried just because some of the other like uh, projects, I guess, are like. Kadaka was involved with kind of weren't as like uh, good or you know as big of hits, but this one's really good. Definitely has the the dang it grand dang it grandpa dang it grandpa vibes. I was trying to say the joke name and I couldn't even get that right. Okay, let's try to help this guy. P 
Pee Wee Herman? What's this outfit, dude? Okay. To say or not to say, that is the question. Um. Excuse me, is something on your mind? <laughs> Why does worried man have simps? <laughs> I see everybody talking about him in chat. Yes, but who are you? And that's what happened. <laughs> I'm seeing so many Vivia. <laughs> Vivia profile pictures in chat too. Thank you, fam, for supporting the cause. Supporting the Vivia cause. The nun at the church asked me to go around and listen to everyone's troubles. If you'd like, maybe I can offer you some advice. I see. That would be great. Actually, I'll get straight to the point. I'm in love. I see. Love, huh? Yes. Those graceful hands and feet. The wavy locks. Those eyes of Inouye. The porcelain skin! Are you in love with Vivia? It was love at first sight. It was over for me. Ah, okay, slay! Okay, now I see why you got fans, worried man. Okay, okay, gay icon. It was love at first sight. It was over for me the moment I saw him. Is he really talking about Vivia? He's got porcelain skin. He's got wavy locks. I don't know what eyes of Annoy are, though. <laughs> Is he a Vivia simp? Just like me for real. I see. I can picture him now. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it truly is just like me! Oh hell yeah, worried man. I love you. You get it. You get it, worried man. You and me were in this together. Screw the Fabuki Club. We can start our own club. The Vivia Simps Club. I can picture him now under the piano. Just thinking about him makes my heart ache. You and me both, man. You and me both. Hmm? Under the piano? Do you mean the piano at the hotel over in Kamasaki District? Oh my god. Finally somebody gets it. That's the one. You're my rival? For his affection? God, Vivia is a blessing to Earth, you know? We need to all enjoy and appreciate his beauty. We can all love, you know? He's he's too much for one person. No. No, nothing like that. I know Vivia because we work together. V Vivia. So, so that's his name. So lovely. So ephemeral. It's quite, quite fitting. Hmm. This guy really seems to like Vivia. I'd like to help him, but... You said you're a colleague of Vivia? Then you must know what kinds of things he likes! I want to tell him how I feel and give him a present! Oh, you're so cute! I love him! <laughs> Naturally, it should be something he'd like. I see. Uh, let's see. He likes books and, you know, ominous poetry. Thank you, a strawberry! Nice profile picture. <laughs> Worried man is truly relatable. I know, he's he's truly a part of the Vivia cult. <laughs> I gotta refresh my tears. <laughs> Goodbye, Kenjo. We're the Vivia cult now. Oh man, yeah. A book, a fireplace, some jewels. Now yeah, he loves books. In that case. I think Vivia would be happy to receive a book as a present. A book! That'd be perfect for him! I could get him a omelet? No, Muskbeth might be better. Yes, an omelet cookbook. That's just what he would love. You've been a great help. I'll get my present ready and go tell him how I feel. No. Uh, can I watch? <laughs> I want to watch. I want to see how that goes. No problem. I hope, th hope things go well. Those sorts of things are never easy, but I won't give up. Thank you. Thank you again. I wonder if Vivi is gay. Or at least, or I guess he might be like bi or something. I don't even know if Vivia really cares about romance at all, to be honest. I feel like he mostly just cares about wanting to die. No, I want to see. Can I not see? I want to I wanna see his confession. He's probably going to get rejected. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. He's probably going to get rejected, but still. It's more screen time for Vivia. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful. I stand worried man. Goes up to legend status, just like that one uh, art gallery guy with the hot voice. Okay, where is it? Oh, over here, okay. Um, what a mess. Um. A woman who's been hit on. Hum, I wonder who this um, plot line's gonna have to do with. 
Um, if something's worrying you, I'd be happy to listen. You're, oh, you're from the church. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's me. I guess that's my thing now. I guess I don't need to explain why I'm doing this anymore. Uh, so what's worrying you? Well, there's this guy who's been hitting on me nonstop lately. He's like four foot tall, blonde, carries a big ass backpack. I've turned him down multiple times, but he just can't take a hint. It's really stressing me out. I just don't know what to do. I see. Can you give me a description of the person? Oh, what was Dezuhiko? Wouldn't he just keep changing into like a different guy every time? Sure, he was on the shorter side, but chock full of confidence. Yep, yeah, I'm thinking of who this is. Mm -hmm. um, that sounds kind of familiar. He was also yeah, <laughs> yeah. He was also carrying this huge backpack. He might not be so bad if he wasn't lugging that thing around. I mean, is it just me or doesn't Desuhiko look like he's like 16 or something? This woman looks like she's like 20. Thank you, Rose Graham. John Raincoat reminds me of Kyoko Danganronpa. John Raincoat? Like you mean uh, John Awesome playing Raincoat? I don't know if I totally understand. You might have to explain it a little bit more in chat. Sorry about that. But thank you for the donation, Rose Graham. I appreciate it. Or John Raincoat or of Kyoko Danganronpa. What do you mean? Um, Yuma? Yuma does look a lot like uh, Kyoko. But thank you for the donation. Or thanks for being a member. Appreciate ya. I knew it. She must be talking about Dezuhiko. Come on. Um, that shorty detective was hitting on girls instead of investigating. No mercy for slackers. What do you think I should do? Sh sure. Um, let's see. Keep rejecting him. Why not try going out? <laughs> what god awful advice? Come on, baby, just try it once. You won't regret it, girl. <laughs> Leave it to me, I'll tell him to fuck off. Um. Leave it to me. To you, what do you intend to do? Uh, and it's a bit awkward to admit, but the person hitting on you is... Sorry. Someone I work with. Huh? That's why. I'll tell him to stop bothering you. <laughs> I see. Um, thank you. Good luck. No. It's nothing. I'm sorry you had to deal with this. Uh. Looks like I managed to solve her problem. <laughs> and in exchange, you've given yourself a brand new one. You know, I do kind of love Dezuhiko. He's... He sucks, but he's so funny. I can't, I can't complain that, uh, he's, I can't complain about him not being entertaining. I always enjoy it when he's on screen, because he's pretty funny. Thank you, uh, in our China 20 rows. Worried man confesses and gives book, Vivia. Really, no. Oh, I want to die someday. Curls up more to the piano, thanks for the book. It was like, give him a book on, uh, death. Give him a book on sewer slide. <laughs> He'd love that. <laughs> oh man, poor Vivia. I don't know why he's so sad. Just because it's such a burden to be so beautiful. To be so fucking beautiful. But thank you uh, for the donation, appreciate ya. Okay. Oh man, do we not get to talk to Tezuhiko? I wanna talk to him. Uh, what do I do? Um. um, if you're worried about something, I could lend an ear. Eek, who are you? And that's what happened. The na and that's what happened. I don't know why, but I love that line. The nun asked me to go around and listen to everybody's troubles. Then can I ask you to listen to my problem? I work at the cafe, but I just can't seem to interact well with the customers. Oh, as soon as I am in front of someone, I get so nervous that my words don't c c come out. It's because Fabuki may have a 100% success rate if he disguised himself as Vivian. <laughs> That is true. That is true. Be like, I don't care how obnoxious your personality is, bro. <laughs> of course, I would love to date you. <laughs> it's like, just shut up. Just don't say anything. Just let me look at you. Just let me stare at you. That's what he needs to do. Honestly, we gotta, we gotta get a new game plan for him. Thank you for the donation. Appreciate you. Oh God. Yeah, I'm sort of like what's happening now. I, I want to be able to talk to people with ease, just like, just like she did. Hmm. She got more Fabuki. She was only there for a day, but she was so beautiful and, and sociable. Maybe. Could she be talking about Fabuki? When I asked her for advice, she told me. <laughs> she told me I had to defeat the evil gods. I don't really know what the fuck she was talking about, though. I knew it. Uh, definitely Fabuki. <laughs> She's like, Fabuki's like, you know what? Whenever you don't know what to do, you should probably try to kill God or something. That's usually what they do in RPGs. 
That's how you get the strength. What should I do? Uh, well, if, let's search for evil gods together. Let's forget about evil gods. I think things are okay as they are. Um, I don't know. What, what, where would the evil gods even be? Do we just make something up to give her confidence? She seems to kind of... Ah, uh, she seems to... I don't even know what evil guards are! How is it being related to serving customers? Maybe we could tell her it's like her inner demons or something? Yeah, we'll fight those evil gods together, girl. Yes! Girl, let's search for the evil gods together! At least it's the funniest one. Um, do they really exist? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, actually. God damn it, Yuma! Now you gotta fix up some bullshit! Come on! Just be like, no, the evil gods were the friends we made all along the way or something like that. Right? You startled me. But talking with you helped me feel a little bit better. I... Uh, I think? <sighs> Maybe I should think a bit longer before giving advice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe I suck at this. That should be enough for now. Let's head back to the nun. Okay, I'm sorry, generic gay woman. I... I, I messed up. I fucked up. I gave you the wrong advice. Oh, man. Yeah, exactly. Gotta gaslight harder. Just be like... Fight those evil gods of insecurity. Robot researcher. Oh yeah, Kira, he sounds weird. I guess we'll meet him later. Yeah, I just gotta be like, yeah, the the evil god of insecurity. The evil god of sadness. The evil god of social anxiety. You just gotta fight them, girl. Just fight them, just slay them. Oh, who's this? Who's that with a nun? Hey. In other words, it ain't your fault. But if you keep whining like I'll this, kill your ass in the name of God. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Woo! I guess she could be like Kenji's sister. Honestly, she's got the, she's literally got the white hair and the bangs too. Uh, how could I not realize you were Kenji's sister this whole time, nun? Phew. Um. Um. What was, what was that just now? Huh? <laughs> Whoa, back already? Peeping's a bad habit, you know. So... Can't just force all the work on you, can I? So I already tried listening to some folks. Wow. That's great. That person just now looked really happy. <laughs> oh, yeah, she gave him some great advice about killing him in the name of God. <laughs> oh, God, I was like, that seems like some shit that uh, Kenji would do. Huh? Huh? <laughs> um, I could see the relief on his face. Like, all his worries would evaporate. He kept thanking you over and over. I'm sure. I think he was happy to have someone so friendly and approachable I to talk it. to. You're kind of foul mouth for a nun, but you're also incredibly kind. Don't and make you're me super, kill your ass. Super pretty. You got that pretty privilege. <laughs> Shut up. I'm busy now. Later. Oh, man. Goodbye, Kenji sister. Oh. Her face went bright red and she ran off. Yeah. As long as she's around, I think the church will be just fine. She's compassionate, and the locals really trust That's her. That's great. It wasn't easy, but I'm glad we were able to help out. Oh, is this the last one? Kind of seems like it. For the church, at least. Lend the church a helping hand. Okay. Guess we can go to... Monumon District? It wouldn't still be flooded, would it? Oh, uh, thank you, Ither Kaleidosit. Kaleidosode. Hey, we have a random question, but have you ever played Stardew Valley? Yes, I love Stardew Valley. If so, who did you marry? My bet is Sebastian. <laughs> I was actually just romancing Sebastian on my last playthrough. Personally, I married Haley. Who did I romance before Sebastian? I think I romanced Shane too. Just because, like, when the first time I played a lot of Stardew Valley, to be honest, <laughs> I feel like I kind of, I guess it's kind of sad to say, but I romanced Shane the first time, but it was honestly just because I found him, like, the easiest to romance because I felt like, uh, I don't know, I think it was just kind of easy to buy him beer, which is kind of fucked up now that I think about it since he has, like, an alcohol addiction. But, you know. <laughs> Yeah, that was, was pretty fucked up now that I think about it. Okay, it's down there, Marnumon. Marnumon District. But I did do a Sebastian on my last run. I think I was... I almost did Haley though. I always get so, like, Station. indecisive. Okay, yeah, that's Marnumon. I get so decisive with Stardew Valley. I feel like it's honestly, like, Persona, where, like, I want to romance everybody, but then they get, like, upset. They're like, hmm, why did you romance everybody? <laughs> Why did you date every single villager in the village, Weeby? That's not cool. I kind of don't want to marry you anymore. 
But, uh, yeah, I think I got close to romancing Haley, but I chose Sebastian instead. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys! I didn't think about it! I didn't put that much thought into it until later. I think it was because I was playing with my boyfriend and he was like, you know, it's kind of fucked up that you keep playing Shane B. I was like, but he likes it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Am I going to get canceled for that? I kind of deserve it. <laughs> I stopped after I realized how fucked up it was. It's kind of cool that, uh... <laughs> That the uh, area is still destroyed, though. I was kind of curious about that, if it was going to be uh, destroyed or not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Suspicious sounding man. Hey there. You got a minute? Hmm? Oh, you mean me? That's right. You're just the cool, dependable looking guy I need. If you got the time, I've got a little gig lined up. No. A uh, gig? I'm actually working right now. What is up with this guy's glasses, dude? He looks like somebody from, like, Ghost in the Shell. And that's alright. This job won't get in the way of your other one. I hope- God, I hope he's a Red Rain man. The pay is out of sight. You'll get rich in no time. You did it, in Red Rain. You did it, Master. Your days of being saddled with debt are over. Sh sure. Um, I'll think about it. Come on, Red Rain. Red Rain! Come on, come for me, Red Rain. I want it. Okay. Guys, it's kind of hard to get through here now. Where is it? Where's the new? Oh, no, it's still here. Okay. There's so much uh, stuff. Did somebody say purple guy? <laughs> William Afton, is that you? Are you a part of Red Rain? You would be. You would be a part of Red Rain. Oh. Okay, who is this dude? Wait, that, is that the boy's father? He kind of looks like him. Oh, look, master, a fortune teller. Why don't you get your fortune read? Hmm? A fortune teller. Okay. What is up with that hair, dude? Looks like, I don't know, like a more, looks like older, like Bart Simpson or something. <laughs> Thank you, Ither. Kaleidosode. If you want to romance everyone, Weeby, get the free love mod. It lets you marry every villager at the same time. Hell yeah, the poly relationship for the win. Oh man, I saw another mod recently that I kind of want to play for Stardew. But it's like these Yandere mods. I was so sad because I was already done romancing Sebastian when I saw I got recommended on YouTube the Sebastian Yandere mod. I was like, damn it, now I gotta restart the game. Thank you for the donation though. Thanks for the advice. I'll uh, definitely consider that because I do love Stardew a lot. The fortune teller. Excuse. Uh, what kind of voice do I give this guy? Um. Ex. I don't even know. Mitch voice? Excuse me, sir. Could I speak to you for a moment? No. This person seems pretty suspicious. What should I do? Uh, let's listen to the story, I guess. Uh, do you need something from me? It's nothing. I simply saw a good omen and wish to share it with you. He's also got the beaver teeth. Oh, it's a hat. Oh, my God. I thought it was his hair. No wonder. <laughs> no wonder it looks so weird. Hmm? A good omen. Who are you? I don't feel like the Mitch voice really fits him. Oh, do you n not know me? I kind of kind of like that. Maybe more of a Mikado voice. Uh, um, sure. I'm pretty sure we've never met, or maybe we met on a case? No good. I can't remember. S sorry. Sorry, I really don't know. Have we met somewhere before? I am a fortune teller who can read the future. I'm accurate and astonishing 96% of the time. Hey, you're way better than Hagakure. Mm -hmm. Um, that's a weirdly specific number. Hmm? Really, I guess it's pretty high. No. I only trust if it's 100 or a zero, master. Don't come crying to me if you get hit with a 1% chance insta-kill. What does that mean? <laughs> what are you talking about, Shinigami? <laughs> that's funny. The curse spell or something. Our meeting was fate's design. Allow me to read your fortune. No. Oh no, I don't I don't need that. In the near future, a cute girl will confess her love to you, and a young man will share his money. Can a young man confess his love to me? Can his name be Vivia? <laughs> huh? No. No, now I'm starting to get suspicious. Hey. Um, don't you think we should run now? If you stay here, you'll end up buying a magic lamp or painting or something. Oh, wait, what did he say? A young man will share his money? Is that referring to the other creepy guy who was like, Hey kid, take on this job. I'll pay you a lot of money. 
Thank you, a strawberry, not, oh yeah, it's Guillaume, I think was the way you pronounce it. Fake fortune teller. <laughs> I know, right? We get a scene of this guy, but not Guillaume. I want her to read my fortune. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. S sorry. Sorry, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> okay. Who do I talk to now? Oh, upstairs. Thank you, Lucky Cat 2703 Luna. If I'm correct, there was a shard in the lion mouth at the station. Okay, I'll have to go back for that. I haven't really gotten any shards this time. Oh, what the fuck? Hmm? Oh, this is some red rain bullshit. Look at that red umbrella. Um, can I help you? Uh, um, I just want you to know, I'm in love with you. I've literally never met you before in my life. I've always liked you! <laughs> what the hell is going on? Huh? What? Huh? Um, who the hell does this chick think she is? Hey. This is all a bit sudden. I'll wait for you however long it takes. Do you what? even know my name? Huh? I mean, I get somebody simping for Vivio without knowing his name, but you know, for you, it's a little more far-fetched. What was that all about? Oh. And Stagon, master, throw some salt at her. Is this how they indoctrinate me into Red Rain? Red Rain, he wanted to cut me with a box cutter. I wanted Red Rain. Oh, what the? Sup, bro? Huh? What, what, what's up? It's chill, bro. We're buddies, aren't we? Mitch, is that you? No. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've met. This is so weird. Don't worry about all that. I brought this just for you, friend. Huh? Money? I, I can't take this. It's no big deal, bro. We're the best of friends. We've always been the best friends. Don't you remember our childhood memories together, Yuma? H how do you know my name? Wealth and happiness are meant to be shared. Well, see you around, buddy. My best fucking friend in the whole world. Uh, um. Uh, wait. Yeah, I was like, this guy, this fortune teller just hires oh, people to like, uh, make his fortunes come true. What just happened? <laughs> a love confession and a payout. Today must be your lucky day. What does that mean? Could this be the result of that fortune? Did it really come true? Maybe. Um, don't tell me you believe in fortunes now, master. What? I mean, didn't you see what just happened? Come on. <laughs> come on, you, but you're so naive. But how else could this happen? Thank you, I didn't Milo. Weeby, I think you're already indoctrinated into, I think you're already indoctrinated into red brain. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I've been so fun to sing that. Thank you for uh, being a member, though. Appreciate ya. Fortune telling is unscientific. It's a woo-woo cult nonsense. That kind of stuff doesn't exist. Coming from a literal god of death. No. Says the death god. Who sa who's to say all fortunes are bogus? Ben. Then let's investigate and see if that fortune teller really is legit. Yeah. Good idea. I'm just gonna totally see him paying off these people. Man, I feel like he's not even in Red Rain. What's the fucking point? <laughs> okay, I think I can go to this one first. Maybe. Just go to the ones that are kind of like in this area first, I guess. Oh, who's this chick? Looks like he ruined her life or something. <laughs> you okay, girly? You okay, girly pop? Everything's over! What, what should I do? I should have never believed that fortune! Maybe... Is she talking about the fortune teller? Let's listen to what she has to say. Uh... Um, excuse me, is something wrong? Yeah, the other day, I went to a supposedly reliable fortune teller and had my fortune read. I invested in stocks like he told me to, but the price keeps dropping, and now I'm barely scraping by. It was all a... Yeah, how could I fall for something like this? What did he say would happen? She said a high school girl would confess her love to me and that a friendly guy would give me money. Oh my god, the same thing that happened to me. Thank you, uh, Nova CD. Oh, wow, thank you so much. $30. Dang, that's uh, quite generous. Just woke up randomly at 6.30 a.m. and turns out you're streaming. Love the content, Kaide. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, glad to see the Kaide meme is still living on and well. That's crazy, though, man. At 6.30 a.m. where you're at? That's wild. But thank you for uh, the donation. Appreciate you. I knew it. Some people's fortunes don't come true, then. Make sure to not just blindly believe in fortunes. Don't make the same mistake I did. Yes. 
Right, I'll be careful. That fucking fortune teller, he was like, You know what you should do, girly pop? You should invest in my NFTs! <laughs> Why would I buy all those fucking monkey NFTs? <laughs> Damn it! Now I'm broke! <laughs> Just a way for him to shill his own fucking uh, NFTs. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Man on a hot street. I'm so glad I listened to that fortune teller. Yeah. Um, let's hear what this person has to say. Um, Excuse me, could you tell me more about that fortune teller? Uh, have you met him too? <laughs> Amazing, right? What I wear, what I eat, where I work, I do exactly as he says and my look never runs out. It's just because he got the astronaut monkey NFT. The other girl, she got the clown monkey NFT. Now that one was a flop. <laughs> that one was a flop. She just needed to buy the right one. Thank you, EDMG7. Weeby, you'll stream a game about a detective agency and you'll get an influx of super chats. <laughs> I can see the future. Oh my god. No fucking way. How did you know that? That's so crazy. <laughs> Weeby, I I predict that you will simp for Vivia later in this stream. <laughs> oh my god, and I do! That's crazy! How could you predict that? <laughs> oh, that's so good. Thank you for the donation. I'll win the lottery. I'll win a gambling. And according to my future, soon I'll meet my future wife. I see. Um, that's a 96% accuracy for you. Woo! A fortune teller can actually see the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. You've been very helpful. If you're ever feeling lost, try following your fortune. Okay. Maybe it is just a 96%. <laughs> it's like actually being legit about it, just being like 96% of the time. That poor, poor woman was just the... Was it like the 4% or whatever? Yeah. I know math. Okay, let's see if there's another person on this level that I can talk to. This area is kind of weird to go through. Do, do, do. Okay, this guy's he's having a rough time. That's sad. Damn, that bastard! I'll never forget this! Read the future, my ass! Hmm. He seems really mad at the fortune teller. Maybe he knows something. Let's ask him. This is starting to seem like a 50% um accuracy rate. Excuse me. Um, can I ask you a couple of questions? Uh, who the hell are you? Uh... I'm currently investigating that fortune teller. What you say? You're friends with that rat! <laughs> that Mikado sounding bitch! Huh? Uh, no, I'm not! I would never be friends with somebody who talks about Mikado! Or talks like Mikado! I thought it all seemed suspicious, so I'm conducting an investigation! Suspicious ain't the right word! It's fucking fraud! Those insane prices for fortunes that don't even come true! My girlfriend handed over her life savings! Oh wait, you just know the other girl? Oh, no. That's terrible. All oh, those fucking NFTs we bought. Do you know how many clown NFTs she bought, man? You said it if I ever get my hands on them. <sighs> it seems those fortunes are causing some people real harm. I kind of feel like you might just know the same girl we talked to earlier. You guys were just in the 4%, so sorry. Sucks to suck, loser. <laughs> get wrecked. Okay. She looks like she's successful. She's got a drone umbrella, so you know, I mean, that's how you know somebody's winning in life. What should I do tomorrow? I guess I'll have my fortune read again. Yeah. It seems like she knows the future teller. F fortune teller. Let's hear what she has to say. Uh, uh, excuse me, do you have a minute? I'd like to hear more about that fortune teller. Hum? Oh, I don't mind. What do you want to know? This is truly... Are his fortunes really that accurate? Of course, but it's not about accuracy. That fortune teller can actually see the future. A fortune telling addict, Jesus. I go in for a reading anytime I can't make up my mind about something. That's how much I trust him. <laughs> Just like calls him in the middle of the morning. Um, fortune tellers, did I have Cocoa Puffs or Fruity Pebbles? <laughs> I just, I can't choose, I can't choose. I see. I see. Are you skeptical? You'll face divine punishment if you're not careful. No. No, of course not. Thank you for speaking with me. If you'll excuse me. I think that's about it. I think that's all the information we'll get. Well? Some people were elated to have their fortunes come true, while others were angry over being tricked. Besides... What was Hagakure's prediction rate? Wasn't it like 30% or something like that? Kind of seems like he has more of a Hagakure percentage. It's not like I expect fortunes to be 100% accurate, but some of these misses are causing a lot of pain. Let's go talk to the fortune teller again. Okay. Like, oh no, you just need to buy my NFT! <laughs> 
We got the monkey in the armor, in the camo suit. Now that's a real good one. <laughs> Just don't buy the clown one. That's that's the fucked up one. Okay, it was 30%. That's what I thought. Oh yeah. Oh uh, wait, before I forget, where did Kirby say to go? Hmm? Ah, of course there he is. They said to go. I'll pull up my donation really quickly from them. Kirby Superstar. Female embassy near the secret club in Kamasaki. That's what it was. Isn't that... Oh, it's the girl who confessed her feelings to you. What does that mean? It looks like they're discussing something. Um, I heard you found a new mark. How did it go? It was a piece of cake. Guys like him are too easy. I'm sure he's head over heels for me by now. He'll probably come out to have his fortune read soon. <laughs> Things went well on my end, too. He was so funny. Running around all panicked. <laughs> what a loser. What a fucking dweeb. Nicely done, you two. Here's your reward. Pleasure. Pleasure doing business with ya. I wasn't sure about conning people like this at first, but I never imagined it would be this easy. Let's talk about this even louder. Hit me up again next time you find a mark. No way. Did you hear that? Hmm. These guys are way beyond our back. Your back alley shell gamer, three card Monte. I will expose the truth. <laughs> we can't let this go. We've got to confront him. What are we even gonna do? Hey, bro. I know you were lying. Go, go, go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no problem, Kirby. <laughs> I did for a little bit, but I was like, wait a second. I I gotta have the worst memory. I just gotta remember to do it after I uh, get this done. Okay. Oh, it's you. Well, did my predictions come true? Yes. They did, thank you. If you don't mind, I'd like to have my fortune read again. Very well. This time, however, it won't be free. I'll need compensation. Well? In that case, can I pay you with information? Information, you say? Yeah. Yeah, information about you planting people to help sell your phony predictions, you fucking dick. Okay, get him, Yuma. Get his ass. How dare you? I won't stand for this nonsense. I don't think so. It's not nonsense. You're hiring people to play pretend. <laughs> oh my god, I'm literally gonna go on like a full blown like detective uh, monologue here. The girl who professed her love and the guy who gave me money were both shills, right? Oh, 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 I'm taking damage over here. Once people start believing your fortunes, you charge exorbitant rates. This is the truth. <laughs> this is the truth. This is your scheme. I have a shitty gummy doing it. Who could have predicted that I'd be found out by someone like you? <laughs> he might be a subpar trainee, but don't underestimate my master. Yeah. I haven't reported this to the peacekeepers yet, and then when I do, they will do absolutely nothing about it. If you don't want to face them, then, then. Return all the money you scan from those people. I mean, the peacekeepers aren't gonna give a shit. I mean, they're like super corrupt anyways. If you do that, I won't report you. I understand. Not long after that, I heard the entire fake fortune telling ring was arrested by the peacekeepers. Surprised they even care, honestly. One of the victims probably blew the whistle. <sighs> it reminded me how much something sounding too good to be true is exactly that. Oh, thank you. Bless Bane. Shinigami. So can we boom kill the bad guy now? <laughs> can we, like, murder him, please? Come on. You know you want to. Come on, Yuma. You love doing that shit. Oh, I can't. Oh, I guess it's Margamon District or whatever. I guess it is kind of blown up or, you know, whatever. Okay, so I just got to go up there. Only one entrance, at least. Okay. I guess I'll just go back down here. So she was by the secret club, I believe. Also, I think somebody said there was a shard and a lion mouth or something. Cause I haven't gotten like any shards yet. So I feel like maybe I should be uh, focusing on that. Just let me know if you guys know where the shards are and I will, I will go find them or something. Or I will try at the very least. It's kind of cool they uh, left it destroyed. I like that uh, aspect of it. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, thank you, Nova CD. Hey, Kaide, you should ask the fortune teller if the drone umbrella will be used in the next mystery labyrinth. <laughs> I do know for a fact I will find some way to put into the crime. <laughs> I'm sure it won't be, but I will find a way to talk about it. 
<laughs> to make some stupid theory with the drone umbrella. <laughs> when will it be important? It needs to be. It needs to be. Okay, where was this place at again? It was like in one of these alleys, I think. There's the bar. Oh yeah, wait a second. Was it that one down there? Because yeah, it should be next to like an actual entrance, right? The station is this way. Now we're not doing that right now. Is it down here? No, that was that building. Where was it at? It was kind of like... Did you... No, that's the hotel. I know it was somewhere in here. Mm, is it not... Is there no entrance to it yet? <laughs> Don't forget the hot air balloon. How could I forget? Where, where is it at? <laughs> I'm getting so lost. Oh man, freaking Kamasaki district. I get so lost in here. Oh god dang it, I keep doing this too. Come on, okay. There we go. Now X. Okay. Subjective. Oh, was it this one? A secret club, that's where it was. So do I go up or down? Is that it? Thank you, Demon30. Random fun fact, Kira Buckland, who voiced Tubi and Karumi, also voiced the princesses and Castle Crashers. Oh, that's cool. I played the game a super long time ago. Ultimate Roma Maid was in my childhood. Oh, that's cute. That's cool. I think it was lower, or was it? Or was it higher? <laughs> I might not be able to find this. Um. Or was it? No, no, no. It was higher. <laughs> this might this might be a challenge. <laughs> I'll give it like a few minutes, I guess. I think that was near the entrance of the casino. Where was the casino? I, I'm looking for yeah, the casino. That's where I'm looking for right now. <laughs> oh yeah, these guys. Oh, I love these guys. Or maybe. God dang it, dude. I have no fucking clue. <laughs> Do you guys remember? It was like, um, I remember there was like a staircase leading down to it. On the ground level. Wait, wait, wait what's this one? Was this it? No, it's the shoe place. There's stairs right here. Okay, okay. Is an NPC around here, I think? Female NPC near the club Kamasaki. Talk to her twice. Is it? Nah, it's this guy. Oh, is this this chick? Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, no. I can't talk to you? Oh, okay. Never mind. Maybe it's her. Okay. These distressing events of late just keep piling up, don't they? Well, it's nothing out of the ordinary for Kana Ward. I suppose. You know. Um, yeah, <laughs> suspicious woman. I guess it's been like this ever since we got here. Um, that's not true. That nail man guy was already here, right? Oh my, would you like to play with me, young man? <laughs> um, what the fuck? Um, I'm okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, well, fancy, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this woman? Fancy little fun with mommy after all! Oh. <laughs> okay! Okay! <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh god, what the hell was that? <laughs> what did you make me do, Kirby? <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Was she gonna charge me for that? Is that her thing? Is that her job? Oh fuck. <laughs> run, you more run! Get the hell out of here! Oh god, that was a good one, I gotta say. <laughs> a little hidden gem here in uh here in Kamasaki district. He's still not here? Oh god. Maybe he's waiting in a okay. car. Okay. Let's 
let's check around the roundabout area. Okay. Fancy Tesla or something over here. Oh, hey, what there's a lion the mouth. Car? Hey, we got it. Recall memories with the Buki. Okay, cool. I don't know if there's any more in this area. Hopefully it's not an issue. A continuing head. Oh, wow, really? Dang, already? That's crazy. Hi, I'm here. Oh, wow, You're this right is on time. fancy ass car. Oh, this car? Of course, it's made by Amaterasu Corporation. Are you even old enough to drive, dude? You look like Yuma's age. Want to do a test drive? Uh, no. I don't have a license. What a coincidence. Neither do I. <laughs> huh? Oh, that's crazy. Uh, I don't either. I'm probably going to kill you on this trip, just to let you know. Come on, get in. I'll take you to the secret lab now. I'm having a lot of doubts right now. That has definitely got to be one of the weirdest NPC interactions, though. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. For a second, I thought it was going to be, like, swerving or something. Oh, wait, now he's in the right lane. <laughs> Do you know what lane you're supposed to be driving in, buddy? You seem nervous. Yeah. I don't blame you. You're heading into the heart of enemy territory right now. Hmm. It's kind of cute that Shinigami is in Yuma's lap. Okay. Makoto, do you be hella, hella sussy? I guess we'll see how this goes. I know, it's kind of cute Shinigami in his lap. Shinigami's cute when she wants to be. <clears throat> She's just kind of mean. <laughs> This is the security area. It uses biometric authentication, so it's difficult to slip past. Of course, everything will be fine because I'm here. Oh. <gasps> uh, oh, come on! Yuma, come on! Peek over your shoulder! I want to see what you look like! Oh, man, for a second I thought we might actually see him. Come on, Yuma, you gotta be more nosy. From here on, we'll be inside Amaterasu headquarters. Are you ready? Ugh. Yes. It's definitely kind of wild actually being inside of here. Man, I totally jinxed myself naming this Vivia time, didn't I? There has been a distinct lack of Vivia besides Worried Man. <laughs> He's been the only saving grace. Oh, pretty. Oh my god. Man, this reminds me so much of like, um, what was it called in Final Fantasy VII? Like the We managed to get inside. Welcome to Amaterasu Corporation. Shinra. I think that's what it was, Shinra. It reminds me of that, honestly. Be more bold. If you look like that, people will only suspect you. What a cyber futuristic lobby! It's nothing like Buzzhead's agency. So pretty. But there's something unsettling about it. It feels so sterile. Le Cafe. I totally get you. I could really use some blood and guts, and the headless corpse or two wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Ain't I just no, something to make it nice totally and cozy? Give it like a homey vibe. Didn't the receptionist seem really suspicious of me? With a face like that, it can't be helped. My face? <laughs> How about we pretend you're my secretary? Yes, you're, you're just here too cute. as my able-bodied secretary. Now stand up straight. You are supposed to be here. I don't know if I can change so suddenly. <laughs> oh, you so cute. This one looks like the Detroit Become Human. I can see that too. It's been a while since I've played that game. That was a good game. Walking so slowly. And yeah, I know, the squeaking is a fire, um, or it's like the smoke detector. It just keeps going off. I'm sorry. I know I've seen people talking about it in chat. There's unfortunately nothing we can really do about it until maintenance gets here to fix it. Unfortunately, it's right next to my setup. Yay. Restricted area. 
Man, the he secret makes it so lab easy. is deep underground. Regular employees are not given access to it. That should do it. This is making me nervous. Who knew you could get inside so easily? Everything is almost a bit too easy here. And my puffiness is all pins and needles. I can't imagine he's plotting anything. Besides, I may as well take back whatever information I can get. But what good will it do you if you die? Then again, I could just take over your corpse and walk all the way back to the agency in your place. <laughs> well, if that happens, I'm counting on you. <laughs> I guess just do whatever you want, actually. By the way, if there's something you want to ask, go ahead now. There won't be time to talk once we arrive at the lab. Take off the battery, stop the beeping. I think we tried that. It kind of seemed like it was covered or something. We weren't sure if maybe like, so we live in an apartment complex. So we weren't sure if maybe they didn't want us doing that, but it doesn't matter. Um, I can look at it later, but yeah, it's pretty annoying. <laughs> I wish it would stop. Oh, then. But yeah, I know it's the batteries. We just weren't sure if we were allowed to take those out or not. What should I ask about? About the secret lab, about Makoto. He's not gonna tell me anything about himself. To the secret lab. You probably what do everything. What sort of place is the secret lab? It's literally a lab that's secret. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you. That explains it. God, uh, questions answered. I don't even need to go there anymore. That doesn't answer my question. With any organization, state of the art research is kept top secret, and only the senior executives are given access. All companies keep their research secret to protect their profits. That's true, but. We have especially advanced research machinery, even by Amaterasu standards. <laughs> this is where our world-leading products are created. So what are you developing here? I can't tell you that, but feel free to look with your own eyes and imagine for yourself. <laughs> what are we gonna see down here? I guess we'll see. Hmm, perhaps I'll give you a hint. I could definitely see it being something really um, sketchy looking. <laughs> See, like lizard people in tanks just use your imagination who knows who knows what we're doing down here it could be anything anything at all our head of research is dr weska a specialist oh, in weapons development that guy weapons development the crudest yet most delicate research in the entire world it's a lot to worry about what do you mean well this is just a rumor but someone in Amaterasu Corporation is working behind oh. the scenes with Dr. Weska. Interesting. I don't know what they're plotting, but if this rumor is true, they must be dealt with eventually. Is he doing the, um, whatchamacallit? The homunculi thing? Whether as CEO of Amaterasu, or as someone who loves this city. Which is why you brought me here as part of your inspection. Very good. You're a it, sharp one. Very good. I feel like you're uh, talking down to me. So he purposely brought you here so no one would suspect his real motive? He's obviously using you as a scapegoat in case something happens. This guy's dangerous. I don't think he's revealed his true motive yet. And I won't end up as some sacrificial lamb. <laughs> Jean Philippe Ponson's, thank you, mass producing Vivia robot. Please! Now that's a production, that's, I could get behind that. I'd be like, sorry, Yako. You know, I actually support what Amaterasu was doing here. I think it's an important message that we need to get across. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, appreciate ya. What should I ask about? Okay, he's not gonna tell me anything about himself, but we can um, try. Mr. Makoto, you're really the CEO of Amaterasu <laughs> yes, Corporation. Yes, that's true. Right? My name really is Makoto. Okay, next question. Please, it's just Makoto. You really still doubt me? Uh, I guess they could be making the robots, the Ama Pals. I think Dr. Hoiska, wasn't he, wasn't he the one who had like the little uh, bio that said he wanted Ama Pal to like kill him whenever he goes? <laughs> you saw us move past security. Yeah, but... Do you have a problem with the way I look? Would you prefer <laughs> I was an old man with a comb over? <laughs> I suppose I could make a mask like that. Yeah. Oh, please don't. Just stay the way you are. You sure? I have other masks, so let me know if you have any requests. By the way, this mask is modeled after a god worshipped by the Bora Bora tribe who live near the equator. Sure, buddy. Um, when did you first become CEO here? 
he's totally gonna keep like um whatchamacallit like I don't know, diverting the conversation. Hmm. Hum, interesting. I think it was about three years ago. Did you know my jacket is purple, just like William Apton? I haven't always lived in Kanai Ward. I just happened to come here for work at Amaterasu Corporation. Okay. Just one small accomplishment, and then, before I knew it, I was chosen to be CEO. <laughs> yeah, put on a Vivian mask. <laughs> That's what I need. Is that true? It sounds like you have your head in the clouds. What did I say? Uh, just one small accomplishment, and then before I knew it, I was chosen. Small accomplishment? It ain't small if it's highlighted like that. Of course it's true. Then what was the small accomplishment you mentioned? It must have been significant enough for you to be chosen. Oh, well, that's so interesting anyways. I can't discuss the details yeah. of my work. Even if I told you, it's too specialized for you to understand. Sounds Honestly, about right. I'm surprised you aren't from Kanai Ward. I thought you were born and raised here. Well, if you stay in one spot for three years, you grow attached to it. They say even couples who have fallen in love usually break up within the first three years. Mm. What should I ask about? Okay, about the peacekeepers. Are there any peacekeepers at the secret lab? Doesn't really seem like this guy has too much control over the peacekeepers, right? Because mostly Yomi that has control of them, I think. Of course. They're everywhere. However, due to confidentiality issues, we have regulations in place minimizing the number of staff there. Couldn't you order them to withdraw? Is that possible? It's not so easy. To deal with the peacekeepers, yeah. you must deal with their leader. Yeah, it does seem like, yeah, he doesn't really have too much of, like, power over them. Yomi, right? But considering your positions, don't you outrank him? Maybe to the outside world. But in truth, we're not so different. What's your relationship with him? You could say we both fought for the top spot in Amaterasu. That's the easiest way to put it. Yeah, okay, kind of like rivals. Fought for the top? At the time, Yomi was so elite. It was assumed he'd oh. be the next CEO. Oh, so he's got beef with Makoto too because he didn't get to become the CEO. Thank you, Lucky Cat 2703 Luna. Even Makoto knows about Weeby's old man phobia. <laughs> I was thinking that too, actually. It's like, don't put on the old guy mask. You don't want to do that. I got I got an old man phobia thing going on, so it's best just to keep it as is. Or maybe a Vivian mask. No one expected I would overtake him and gain that title for myself. Maybe we should all wear Vivian masks. It's what God intended. It's what he would want. But in the end, you were chosen. I never purposely aimed for the top, but there was something I had to do as the CEO. It's freaking sussy, dude. What was it? It's a long story, so I'll save it for another day. In any case, I was officially appointed as CEO. So that's the post I hold now. This elevator has been going down forever. Yomi believes I cheated to get my way here. Ever since then, he's hated my guts and has grown more heavy-handed over time. The previous CEO died in an accident. <laughs> but my guess is that actually... <laughs> accident! <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure. You think Yomi is responsible? I think the peacekeepers, you know, accidentally cut his throat, something like that. That's just a guess, mind you. I think he could do something like that. Regardless, his resentment seems justified. Are we going to the center of the earth? Like, what is going on? I don't know what he's thinking. But the fact remains that he's spreading fear throughout the whole city. This elevator will never end. For the sake of Kanai Ward's future. <laughs> what is going on in chat? To run free. <laughs> oh, V for Vivia? Okay, I see. He I can says stand that. Kanai Ward's future, but it's Do a V2. <laughs> just for himself. This is just a fight for power. It'd be a nice show if more corpses pile up. The WDO getting involved now certainly complicates things. It's complicated enough already. You're the only one who hasn't noticed yet, Master. I thought I knew, but I get the feeling the worst is yet to come. Although, I have no idea what form worst will take. Okay. I'm really curious to see this lab. Can I see the Huesca? Is that how you say his name? Huesca, I think. Aw oh, man, where's he at? Okay, well, like, there's at least the AMA stuff here. Well, just the AMA pay. Rumor has it, company collects personal data from each transaction. 
That kind of makes sense. Kind of what I feel like the Ama pal is going to be doing too. Just like, I don't know, he's like Siri, but he just kind of like records everything <laughs> that you do. <laughs> you know, just like what our phones do in real life. <laughs> we're well, we're finally here. We're on the other side of the planet now. There's that face again. Did you forget? Right now, you're my able secretary. Don't look so worried. Or should I lend you an extra mask? It'll be perfect for hiding your face. No, I'm fine. Then let's go. Oh, hmm? Heska was the one that didn't wear shoes That's or socks. Odd. Who was, oh, it was Akira. Who was the one who made Amapel? That's what it was, I was getting confused. I wanna meet Akira. The gate was left open. Under normal security circumstances, there wouldn't be so many peacekeepers. He seemed like a weirdo. Also, our apartment's so busted, dude. <laughs> Freaking lights just randomly turn off in my room. That's why I was making that face. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, gotta remember to have that remote next to me. Did they find out about me? If so, you'd already be captured. They wouldn't even let you off the elevator. Poor Yuma, he's so on edge. For now, let's ask them what's up. <laughs> hey, <laughs> wait! Every time I look in chat, there's more Vivia profile pictures. <laughs> As there should be. I wonder, this kind of seems like a place there would be some, uh, whatchamacallits hey. at. Oh, hey, just because you're a guest of the chief executive doesn't mean you get to go wherever you want. S sorry. Uh, sorry. Master. Master, you peed a little, didn't you? <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, I guess um, I, like, I guess I can save really quickly. Just like sometimes it kind of gives me a break, so I was like, maybe I could walk around a little bit. Maybe not. Oh, Vivia, oh, so beautiful. I love him. Slay Vivia, slay me, slay Makoto, slay whoever you want. Hi there. What happened? Ch Chief Executive. I regret to inform you that. <laughs> what is that username? Vivia Twinklight. <laughs> Vivia Sweep. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh my god, the Vivia cult is rising, rising up. Two peacekeepers <laughs> on guard duty at the gate were knocked out by someone. Okay. Is it an intruder? Oh, yes. that's a new sprite. That appears to be the case. So we have a guest. Who would have thought there'd be an intruder right now? An intruder? The timing is too perfect. It's like they were waiting for you, Master. Huh? Hey, oh. what's going on here? Hey, it's you! Am I seeing things? The evil twink. The tacky piece of trash that loves looking down on citizens from on high is actually strutting around on the ground. <laughs> The fucking detective who moonlights as a terrorist to boot. That's even more impossible than a chance meeting between an umbrella and a sewing machine on an operating table! What the hell? <laughs> what, a, what a random uh, this is <laughs> comparison. Why is he of all people here? I li you know, I hate Yomi for what he did to Martina, but he is a super interesting character. He's super entertaining. This is the worst timing. Master, you are the world champion of getting into trouble. Hi, Yomi. You <laughs> came at the right time. Hi, Yomi. I <laughs> like the way he says it. Hi, bestie. We have an emergency. An intruder has gotten past the gate. You don't need to tell me what I already know, you masked freak. It sounds like you already know about the intruder. So, you received an alert and decided to pay a visit? Seeing you personally take care of things is a rare sight. Of course I'm here. This is an important base for us. Well, do you have any ideas regarding this intruder? I'm not required by duty or cosmic law to tell you a damn thing. <laughs> Go back to the clouds and read poetry in the bath. <laughs> Yumi always seems so pissed off. Thank you, Jean-Philippe Ponsons. You know, Nico mentioned he had dinner with one of the VAs of the game. When he went to Capcom's event a few months ago, turns out it's Vivia's VA. I'm so jealous. Oh my god, that's so cool. Who is Vivia's VA? I'll have to look that up later. Damn, I'm so jealous. <laughs> oh god, I bet 
that whole dinner you'll probably just hear his beautiful voice. <laughs> be like, wait, wait, here's the Vivia mask too. <laughs> Let me just pretend that Vivia's here with me in person. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Appreciate you. <laughs> I'll help. What? As CEO, I offer my full support to the peacekeepers' investigation. I'm excited we get to see more of Yomi. What, like some sort of truce? Is now the time to fight among ourselves? Fine. I'll accept your peace offer. You think I'd really <laughs> say that? I don't need your help! <laughs> you don't seem to understand the situation you're in. You really are a special kind of stupid. I have power. Numbers and charisma that far surpass yours in every way. I got way more fangirls than you. You are in no position to order around the great Yomi. I'll admit, I have no power, numbers, or charisma. I'm kind of curious how Yomi did c climb up the like ladder, you know? I guess it probably is through that kind of stuff, but I could see him having some kind of a uh, connection as well. You know, but mom and dad. What about here? <laughs> <sighs> you talk a lot of trash, <laughs> empty-headed balloon boy. No, don't call him balloon boy. That's the worst insult you could call a person. How about I <laughs> catch this intruder before you do? He's obviously a William Afton, Kenny. Look at his outfit. Huh? You catch the intruder? Are we going to do like a little competition? <laughs> don't make me laugh. We're oh, dealing with Fink the Slaughter Artist. That guy. Interesting. Fink the Slaughter Artist. The famous hitman? Who's this new character now? <laughs> oh my god, there's way too many characters getting introduced. He said hitman. What? Were you acting all tough for no reason? You sure are a brainless executive. We've been looking into this for days already. <laughs> calling card or something? Dr. Ohaska must pay for his sins with his life. My blade shall be his atonement. Oh yeah, he was the one they think was working on some kind of like secret project or something, it seemed like. It's a death threat. Dr. Weska is... Weska. Isn't that the head of the lab he mentioned? So a hitman's out to get him? This thing was sent to the peacekeepers and the lab itself a few days ago. The slaughter artist signed the envelope in big letters. He craves attention like a schoolgirl with a new haircut. <laughs> okay, interesting. It doesn't matter who he is. The moment he steps into this lab, he'll be caught in my trap. Sorry, but we'll be the ones to handle this hitman. Keep talking, you clown. Your words are just as empty as your head. We, the peacekeepers, are gonna catch the hitman. We're the keepers of order, and we'll show him who's boss. You best be careful not to stand in my way. It'd ruin my shoes to stomp <laughs> on a pile of shit. Holy shit, man! Roasted! Are you sure you can catch the hitman first? Huh? <laughs> it's not my job to catch him. Uh, what the- It's yours, detective. Bro, are you serious? I know. <laughs> You were talking all that shit and you're just gonna throw it on to me? <laughs> there, there. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> now go go off now and fight Yomi. As a result, you weren't taken by the peacekeepers and we also gained information about the intruder. Fucking Makoto. We've killed two birds with one stone. Maybe, but... On top of that, you can peruse the lab freely now. <laughs> so it's more like a three base hit sending all the runners home. So see, I did you a favor, kind of. Was that his goal during the short exchange with Yomi? If so, he's not just any regular person. I understand why you think he's creepy. <laughs> it's probably best to stay on his good side. Although, I don't think befriending him is smart either. Yeah, it's not really... I don't know, it's just so hard to read Makoto and like what's going on with him. He definitely seems suspicious, but yeah, it's like I don't necessarily think he's like an enemy just yet. I think the stupid light, dude. I don't even know if I can tell the difference when it goes off or not. <laughs> in other words, as I keep on saying, you should just run away. It's too late for that. Now, let's go inside the lab like we originally planned. As planned, huh? 
Okay. So this is the secret lab. I see something kind of over there that they're working on. It's kind of yellow Let's container. Let's keep up with Makoto. Not super helpful. Okay, we just gotta follow him. Why are you walking like that? <laughs> Doing a little jig? I guess it's not as bad as Martina's walk. I was picturing something way more suspicious. Like corpses stored in a vat of chemicals and stuff. I'm really seeing a whole lot I can spy on. Another peacekeeper. You look in the window, at least. Man, it just looks like there's boxes in there. See? It's not some suspicious lab. There aren't any <laughs> immortal monsters in sight. I can't tell you. In sight! <laughs> you know, maybe not in sight, you though. Are. There might be some. I'm sure you want to look around the lab, but let's prioritize this issue with Dr. Weska. Right. Finally if he's been targeted by the hitman, it'd be better to find him first and take him into our custody. Well, then, let's hurry. Dr. Weska should be in the critical lab up ahead. Okay. This is a pretty big lab, man. Hey, it looks like the simp guy we talked to earlier. <laughs> hey, you work here too? Um, oh, was oh my goodness! That a robot? Oh, there he I is! Think I've seen it somewhere else. The little guy. Isn't that the one they advertise a lot on posters around town and those big digital billboards? Is this Weska? This guy, the bald guy? Oh, it's a toy robot for children. It's being developed here. Okay. You make them here? Toy robots, I mean. It may be a toy, but it's quite advanced. State-of-the-art technology shouldn't be just for adults. I feel like he does kind of look like Baymax a little bit. In fact, kinda cute. I even have one. It's quite nice. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I kind of figured he'd be like a maid or something rather than just like a toy. The camera fixed to its head can connect to a device's display. And it can okay. also be remote controlled. Man, this is going to be some like robot takeover. It even features an interactive mic. And can carry a load of up to 100 kilograms. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's crazy. Interactive mic. Oh, he's totally recording all of our conversations, aren't you? <laughs> he also has a security feature where he has a knife installed and he can attack any kind of threat that might be in the area. It's advertised to withstand play with your rowdiest kids and as being tough enough for an <laughs> elephant to stand on. Okay. Um, shall we keep going? Oh, right. I want to talk to Mr. Robot. I'm a pal. Who is this guy? This short guy. I kind of thought he was going to be Dr. Weska. I guess I can't really talk to him, can I? <laughs> He's so short. <laughs> He's so small. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Lucky Cat 2703 Luna. There are some shards in the labs, if I'm correct. Oh, crap. Am I going to be able to like really look around here too well? Or is this my only time? I don't think I've seen anything left. Here it is. Let's go Hopefully inside. We haven't missed anything yet. Yes. <laughs> Amapel looks this like the Reddit is mascot. The third chamber <laughs> I can of the see that. Lab. You can consider it an entrance. Dr. Weska's critical lab is sealed with especially tough security. Oh, is that Akira, the short guy? Who dares oh, what disturb the, fuck? the thoughts <laughs> in my sacred brain cells? Oh, Jesus, he's kind of scary looking. Dr. Weska, it's me, <laughs> the CEO of Amaterasu Corporation. It's kind of a jump scare. Who the hell are you? I refuse to speak with any disrespectful <laughs> hoodlums. Either take off your mask or present someone whose mouth I can view. <laughs> Just trying to protect you from murder or whatever. You heard him. Yuma, can you take my place? Huh? Me? Why doesn't he just take off his mask? This doctor guy seems like the stubborn type. I doubt I'll be good at dealing with him. The only humans you're good at dealing with are young girls. <laughs> right, Master? A player. Um, my name is Yuma Coco Head. I've come here today after being advised by Mr. Makoto. Speak what you must in under ten words. <laughs> I feel like he looks like he'd be like a Sonic villain or something. Oh, sure. Um, you're being targeted by a hitman. You need to get somewhere safe. You've exceeded your word limit. Game <laughs> over. What? Don't come back. I didn't even say that many words. Uh, hold on. 
<laughs> I mean, it seems like he would be kind of safe in here. I mean, he's got this door protecting him and stuff. I mean, I don't really see how they would get in. See how difficult he is? He's a great researcher, but I can't say the same for his personality. People say he's been in this lab for months now without seeing anyone. For months? Hmm. It's like the Heavenly Rock Cave legend. Yeah, I mean, like, it doesn't really seem like anybody could go in to kill him if he's just kind of cooped up in here. However, there's only one way to get him out. And it's not some passionate dance. It's this. <laughs> Button what? smash! Power is activated! You're a persistent <laughs> What's the meaning of this? Do you wish to become a test subject for a new weapon? Uh, um, as I mentioned, a uh, hitman is... <laughs> Poor Coco Head. I know that already. <laughs> I received a threatening note a few days ago. And as you can see, I don't give a shit. Huh? So you received one too? I guess he probably will end up dying, though, at some point, since I gotta solve a mystery of some sort. I received a report from my subordinate. I didn't see anything of the sort myself. Why didn't you run away, then? You'd be better protected somewhere safe. What a foolish question. What place is possibly safer than here? The security system was instilled with my genius. Whether it's a hitman or the CEO, anyone who dares enter without my permission <laughs> will be turned into a test subject. So you are testing on humans here. Okay, we got that confirmed and out of the way. Just want to double check. And now that you've been enlightened, quit wasting my precious time. It appears he won't <laughs> budge. Such a shame. I wanted to ask him a few things, too. S sorry It's okay, Yuma. <laughs> it's not your fault. He didn't even talk to me. It's not a very easy person to talk to in general. He appears to despise me. Maybe it's because I keep trying to investigate his research. Oh, uh, yeah. I do wonder what other thing he's doing, like working on. So having you introduce me wouldn't have made a difference in the first place. <laughs> Probably not. But I thought you'd like the chance to speak with the doctor. He is the head of Amaterasu Corp's research facilities. If there was any sort of questionable research, he would know. As you can see, now that you can see the head doctor looks like a Sonic villain, you can be rest assured that there is no evil happenings going on here. Questionable research? He's referring to the homunculi. Um, isn't there some way we can reach the doctor? I doubt he'd answer the intercom again, and it's impossible to get past his security. You can attempt to force your way in, but you'd be risking your life. The security is that tough? You could say it's impregnable. You could even call it murderous. Intruders will be immediately killed. Oh, Jesus. Killed? <laughs> See, it's like, how is he supposed to get murdered in there? It's not so much a security system as a boom kill device. It's a security system so perfect that even the devil would avoid it. Uh, I guess it's just gonna end up being like a locked room mystery. A really intense locked room mystery. I wonder how they're gonna get around that. Even though this is the heart of Amaterasu Corporation, I still think it's a bit excessive. You guys still talking about Vivia in chat? Who said Margala over Vivia? Come on now, don't... <laughs> Their username, Dumb and Dumber. You know, <laughs> accurate username, considering what you're saying. <laughs> Oh, man. Another locked room mystery. That seems to be what it's leading to. Oh, if you want, I could explain what the security is like around here. Yes, please. Tell me about the security system. First off, we're in what's known as the front chamber. It's like an entrance to the critical lab. Yeah, this seems like all stuff we're gonna have to pay attention to to, like, solve the <laughs> mystery later. You see that automatic door there? <laughs> it's not actually locked. You can come and go freely through it. Oh, really? Once you get past that door, you will need to proceed through three chambers before arriving at the doctor's lab. Jesus, three chambers? The three chambers are, in order, the airlock, the toxic gas chamber, and the panel chamber. Oh, does this guy have to do with the toxic gas, like the restricted area? Because that had to do with, like, um, uh, toxic gas, right? Wait, is somebody talking about Swank in chat? <laughs> Swank! Not Swank over Vivia! <laughs> About to get banned! <laughs> no Vivia slander allowed in chat! But yeah, would this guy have something to do with the toxic gas? Just because it is kind of interesting that, yeah, that area was, um, you know, 
kind of that was the reason it became restrictive is because of toxic gas. Toxic gas chamber sounds dangerous already. It is. Anyway, let's go in order. After the front chamber is the airlock. The airlock isn't particularly dangerous. As the name suggests, it's a room that seals out air. It features a large decontamination device set up on a wall. Okay, let me, let me focus a little bit. Airlock, particularly dangerous. Room that seals out air. This prevents gas from the toxic gas chamber from leaking out. Okay. If an intruder broke in or there was an accident originating from the toxic gas chamber, everything beyond it would remain safe thanks to the airlock. Okay, so it's like a safety procedure, basically. So it's a room to stop the toxic gas. Once you get past the airlock, you arrive at the toxic gas chamber <laughs> in question. <laughs> Looks pretty ominous. I guess, like, I mean, the airlock does have, like, vents. So I guess people could kind of go in through there. It was supposed to use sleeping gas in the original design, mm. but Dr. <laughs> Wesco decided to upgrade it. He wanted a little bit more murder, you know what I mean? If anyone enters while the security system is active... The Jesus. whole room immediately fills with fatal toxic gas. The gas is comprised of bacterial aerosols, so regular gas masks oh, wow. are ineffective against it. Dang! Even if you hold your breath, it penetrates the skin. There are no effective treatments for it in existence. Isn't it dangerous to weaponize such a deadly gas? <laughs> yeah, for real, I'm surprised they even allowed this. I guess it is Amaterasu, they do seem pretty uh, corrupt, you know? Oh, there's no need to worry about that. This gas is one of the doctor's failures. Mm. It's only effective in an airtight room. Oh. It is easily dispersed outdoors. Okay, interesting. So I guess there's like a door to the outside that leads into here that could be a way for them to avoid it? Maybe. I see. By the way, it takes time for the toxins to spread throughout your body, so it will not be a quick death. Oh man. However, you will absolutely die within 30 minutes. No one can escape that fate. Okay, interesting. Interesting. The time lag is another reason why it's considered a failure. But as a security system, it's unmatched in offensive and defensive capabilities. Anyone who wanted to force their way through would need a spacesuit. He claims the gas will absolutely kill anyone. That's terrifying. Is he like it's in your hair or something too? Slowly die, no one escape, blah blah blah, throughout your body. Penetrates the skin. That's what it was. Even if you hold your breath, that's what it was. Okay. That's not cute like me at all. And next we have the third room, the panel chamber. It consists of nine panels in a three by three layout. It functions the nine panels are set in a special sequence by the doctor. Stepping on them in the correct order uh, unlocks the door. Okay, how would you... <laughs> I was like, how do you even get past the gas chamber in the first place to get to here? Only the doctor knows the order. Its key is sealed within his memories. Supposedly, even computers cannot analyze it. Okay. Also, stepping on the wrong panel will cause an intruder to be shocked at high voltages. But high voltages? <laughs> An intruder would be burnt to a crisp before realizing they'd messed up. <laughs> what has he got hidden in this lab, dude? This is so much security. <laughs> it's totally out to boom kill you. It was originally designed to emit a light shock, but the doctor modified it to be deadly. <laughs> Why go to such lengths? Yeah, there's something really sketchy in here. According to the doctor, this string of security protocols is not meant to kill intruders. <laughs> not meant to, but if it happens, it happens, you know? It's more like a deterrent. This display of excessive force would cause anyone to give up on breaking in. It's like, in. no wonder they think he's working on, like, extra stuff behind their back. He's got all these security mess measures that even, like, people who work in the lab can't enter. But there is a strong aura of malice here. I guess you could say that's another deterrent. It's true. If anyone knew about the obstacles, they would never even try to enter here. And also note there's a second decontamination device in the panel chamber that's identical to the one in the airlock. Of course, this is to prevent the toxic gas from leaking into the lab itself. Once the nine panels are cleared, all that is left is to flip the switch. Doing so opens the final door, beyond which is the doctor's lab. Easy! 
All that's left is the final step after all those easy other steps. Speaking of, how does the doctor get in and out of the lab? I figure he could like disable it for a short amount of time or something, right? Within the lab is a button that fully disarms all security measures. The doctor just presses it whenever he leaves. But he's remained in the lab for months. He seems focused solely on his research and hasn't set a foot outside. There's a toilet and shower, as well as plenty of food and water. Security is perfect, and since he's never interrupted, it must feel like heaven to him. Guy yeah, literally lives here, doesn't he? Totally got Even like a kitchen so, and a bathroom in there. It <laughs> Why is he always healthy to be holed up in there for months? <laughs> Why is he always sitting like that? He is. <laughs> Did something trigger that? <laughs> Always posing. It's normal for a researcher to be immersed in his own research, but it is worrisome. We won't know the details until we speak to him directly. But from what I've heard, he was part of a big project that was canceled in the past. He's shut himself in here ever since. A big project? Could it be the homunculus research? Anyway, as I've just explained, getting through the security here is impossible. If you wish to meet the doctor, you must get him to press the disarming button. In the end, we must communicate with him, which you appear to be better at than I am. <laughs> Still not very good at it. That's not true, but I guess I have to do it. Don't worry, he'll probably die before you have to do any of that. Oh, hey! Oh. The worst boy! I knew you'd be here. Yeah, <laughs> Carbon94, thank you! Human, don't draw me like one of your French girls. That's basically him. Like, why is he always posing like that? Hi, Yomi. Dr. Weska is safe. I've confirmed it just now. Be like, I just confirmed it. We like press the button again. He's like, dead. The security system is active, so I doubt the hitman can even get close to him. So, you talked smack about finding that hitman before we do. How's it going? It's been like 10 minutes, so. As of right now, no luck. Don't worry, I got my man Yuma on the case, the best detective in town. All responsibility goes on him. All the shit talking I did also goes on him. You can drop the phony act, masked freak. Act? My underlings searched all around the lab, but no intruder has been found. Which okay. means there was no hitman from the get-go. Isn't that right, you executive of massive okay. fraud? Thinks he was lying? Huh? I know you're the one who made up that death threat, Makoto Kagutsuchi. Okay. What are you plotting? Why are you even here? You seem to have a misunderstanding. There's no doubt someone's been here before us. Hmm. Besides, what would I gain from such a plot? I just want to have a little chat with Dr. Weska. Is because he wants to get Dr. Weska out of there? Is that why he would lie about it? I guess that kind of makes sense. I mean, I kind of believe Yomi, honestly. What business do you have with Dr. Weska? Don't pretend you're just here to talk <laughs> about the weather! I want to see if he needs my help with anything. I have a duty to watch over Amaterasu <laughs> and Kanai Ward as a whole. Makoto's always putting on the, like, pristine act of, like, I just love everybody in Kanai Ward so much. That's why I always have to help and be what? there. What? What have you ever done for Kanai Ward? All you do is look down on it from on high. The peaceful order you see when you gaze upon it is thanks to my righteous justice. I'm the one guiding these lazy <laughs> fools. I brought civilization to this place. Oh yeah, with the peacekeeper, so wonderful. <laughs> You're doing such a good job with that, by the way, Yomi. Every What a peaceful, beautiful city. I don't need you. Messing with the proper order of my city! No crime or corruption at all. Hey, tell Mr. CEO that he doesn't belong here. Politely escort him <laughs> out. Make sure he can still talk, though. <laughs> Maybe rough him up a little bit on the way out. There are plenty Jesus. of things I need to ask him. Damn. What a coincidence. I was hoping to have a nice chat with you two. Wait! It's all right. Don't worry. <laughs> We're just going to talk for a bit. I'll be right back. Wait, is that going to take Yuma? <laughs> Interesting. Um, oh, God. <laughs> Do not want to be in a room by myself with Yomi. What even are you? I'm about to get fucking cubed. Huh? You're not a citizen of Kanai Ward, nor are you a detective. 
I'm kind of like a detective, almost. What point is there in your existence? <laughs> Not that I care about small fries like you anyway. Oh. Just lock him up somewhere. Damn, roasted. Oh, oh no! Yuma! Shinigami, what do I do? I guess this will at least give us an alibi when, you know, uh, what's-his-face, you know, dies eventually. Jeez, you are always begging for help. I must admit, seeing you so pitiful is nice. I'm gonna stare at you for a while. <laughs> Don't say that! Help me! <laughs> She's never any help. It's not like there's anything I can do in this situation anyway. Um, please, wait! Hey, open up! Please, hear me out! <laughs> it's kind of funny there. <laughs> Shut up and stay put! That pose. Here we are again, huh? I'm growing bored of this master. I keep getting locked up every chapter. Seriously, why does this keep happening to me? It's like some <laughs> evil spirit is haunting me. That is so weird. What? That's impossible. Although, you do have an adorable partner here. <laughs> <sighs> oh, there you go, sighing again. Keep it up and something bad will happen. I hope a meteor crashes <laughs> down on me. Oh, you're starting to sound like Vivia. I hope I die someday. <laughs> uh, gonna take a little nap, a little nappy nap. Guess there's not really much else to do, huh? Is it time to switch out? Oh, shit. Oh, Wait. Is that late already? The guy inside? It's me. He seems to have quieted down. Anyway, you can uh. take it from here. What's going on? Uh, oh, a little small one. Hmm. Jolly peacekeeper. Oh, they're so tiny. They're just like me. W what are you doing? Uh, am I going to be <laughs> tortured? Please wait. I don't know anything. Honest. Stand up. Your sentence has been decided. Oh. What you the hell? Were put to death. What? <laughs> what did I even do? D death? <laughs> wow, you got the death penalty just for telling <laughs> the law? Like, yes, Yomi. This what a pure utopia you have <laughs> created. I haven't even fucking done anything. Thank you, Demon Thirty Yuma. How did you? How'd you get on that couch so fast? We just got the Makoto. I'm a demon lord or whatever. Now paint me your cute cocoa snack. <laughs> Basically. Thank you for the uh, donation. Appreciate ya. I don't want you to die, master! Then do something! <laughs> However, I will give you one chance. If you wish to escape your fate, say the name of the girl you <laughs> like. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> huh? <laughs> That's my god, is it? Desuhiko! Come on. That's enough fooling around. Oh, it's Yako too. Okay. Uh, would you let me have a bit more fun? Ah, <laughs> uh, yay! No wonder you're so small. <laughs> okay, nice. Tsuhiko. Yay! Yako. <laughs> you're just fucking with me. Took you long enough to notice, Yuma. If you're this dense, no wonder you got caught. So, you used your disguise. I know, but really, I mean, eh, I guess. It's not as intense as the other disguises, I guess he uses. Yeah, I wouldn't really call it a disguise. This is more like a chase yeah. clothes. <laughs> I was gonna say it's, it didn't really seem like a comparable to his other disguises. So who is the girl you like anyway, Master? It Never mind that now. Anyway, what are you doing here, Yuma? That's what I want to know. Why are you two here? First off, you need to calm down, Yuma. Tell me what you're doing here. Uh, well. I was investigating that secret lab, and... <laughs> and lore dump time! And I got into a bunch of fucking trouble yet again! How'd they and even know that was here? that's what happened. And that's what happened. I see. It's like it's catchphrase. So that masked CEO had a hand in things. No wonder you were all fidgety when you came back to the agency. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I'm sure you had no choice. Oh, that's nothing to be proud of, mind you. It's not some stranger with a sweet whisper that has your back when it matters. It's your friends, right? Yeah. Don't misjudge these matters. 
Think carefully about who really cares for. Vivi is not here. Does that mean he doesn't? He doesn't care for me? <laughs> but we've had so many good times together. Hey, now's not the time to give a lecture. <laughs> <sighs> Why are all old men like this? I'm not that old. <laughs> Master sure is an expert at getting into trouble. You're also an expert at crying out for help. But I wonder why these two are here. So, why are you two here? Oh, this was delivered to us after you left the agency. Oh, okay. Dr. Oiska must pay for his sins of his life. My blade shall be his atonement. Oh, why do they deliver one to the agency, too? It's the hitman's death threat. Why was this sent to the detective agency? That's so weird. Are we being set up or something? Beats me. But this Dr. Weska guy is famous among Amaterasu's staff. It kind of feels like it. Just trying to get us here so we'll be suspected for it. Also, I remembered he shut himself up inside their headquarters. So we came here to the headquarters and saw the Peacekeeper's director head inside looking all irritated. Which was our cue that something must have happened. And that's where I came in. I hid myself among the other Peacekeepers and followed them inside. To what happened to be the secret lab itself. Oh, <laughs> whoa. Is this kind of all my doing if you really think about it? I think I should take all the credit. I heard some careless detective got captured, so we came to help. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's pretty cool for him to bust us out of this, though. Thank you. You really saved me. Thanks to this letter, we were able to find the secret lab. But this Fink the Slaughter Artist guy... Is he scattering death threats all over town? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I feel like somebody totally is setting us up. It's like, why would he just be like announcing his future murder to everybody? Because I get that a lot of like murderers kind of like the publicity and stuff. But it's usually like more so after the fact. Like, why would you tell people before you do it? They're just going to prepare for it. Doesn't that just make it harder to kill the target? Yeah. The peacekeepers have ramped up their security. You'll never understand what these wacky named psychos are thinking. Maybe he prefers having a challenge or something. Eh. I don't know what the hitman is plotting, but there's only one thing we need to do. We must take Dr. Weska into custody as soon as possible and extract information about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Yeah, he'll be way safer on the uh, half-broken submarine <laughs> than in this uh, secret lab with the poison gas chamber protecting him. Yeah, we definitely need to get him on that busted submarine that just sank last chapter. No, yeah, he'll be he'll be way safer there. If they really <laughs> are researching homunculi, then he would know. But from what Yuma said, this mission won't be that simple. The masked man is meeting the doctor for a reason, and the peacekeeper director is after him too. On top of that, some first-rate hitman's gunning for him. The fight over Dr. Weska is taking shape. Our competition's quite the lineup. Okay. But we can outsmart them all. Oh, thank you. Lucky Cat Luna. Um, Lucky Cat 2703 Luna. Vivian's not here because he's on a date with Worried Man. The only, uh, the only excuse that I will take into consideration <laughs> that it's okay. It's okay as long as he's on a date with Worried Man. <laughs> the Nocturnal Detective Agency has been pressed in on all sides. So it's about time to show them what we're made of. Oh, Chief, you're usually so pessimistic. I like what I'm hearing. All right, let's do this. Yeah, let's. Nice. I love this totally gung ho attitude. It's super stupid. Not that I mind one bit. Well, okay, camera was kind of being weird for a second. Seems like it's still going. Okay, I was gonna say. Oh, it's so weird. Yeah, to kind of see Yako being so positive. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Yuma, you want to put on a disguise? I'll match your preference and make you look like a lady peacekeeper. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I don't have a preference. <laughs> oh, wait. I had to hide my bag on the way here. I need to get it first. Let's go. Oh, God, Desi Higa. You're such a little time, weirdo. I think Fuzzhead and the Shorty Detective are kind of cool. God dang it. I fucking... <laughs> I fucking jinxed myself titling this Vivia time. The homie has had like five lines this whole <laughs> this whole chapter so far. This is the most we see him on the save screen. Why 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 does it lie? Why does it lie? He's here, he's on the save screen, and yet and yet no Vivia. And yet I I've yet to see him. 
<laughs> we saw a lot of Halara on their chapter. A lot of Dezuhiko. A lot of Fabuki. <laughs> just, just no Vivia. Not your fave, Weeby. Not your fave. Fave? I kind of said that weird. Oh yeah, let me um, double check this. Thank you, Demon30. Yako just sounded like an anime recap narrator. Oh god, I can see that. Thank you so much for the donation. Appreciate ya. Oh, memory shard in here? Uh, let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Thank you for letting me know that. Hey, recall memories with Dezuhiko from the notebook menu. Oh, does that mean he's... He, I guess he did say that he doesn't have a preference. I guess uh, it kind of means like gender or looks in general. Oh, okay, I guess it could be Arrow Ace then. Or I guess, would that be, would that, or Pan? Uh, I can't remember. Can't tell if I'm interpreting it right or not. Thank you, Ice. Dezuhiko is kind of built like Balloon Boy. <laughs> Even Dezuhiko doesn't deserve that. <laughs> he doesn't deserve that comparison. <laughs> No, I will not hate anybody as much as I hate Balloon Boy, except for maybe Mitch. <laughs> oh, but thank you for the donation, though. Appreciate ya. Okay, let's talk to Desuhiko. Uh, I was surprised when I heard you got caught, but my man got through without a scratch. Thank you. I was just napping the whole time. Thanks for coming to help me, Desuhiko. You don't mention it. That's what bros are for. <laughs> the fucking Balloon Boy. <laughs> All right. God damn it, that's what I'm gonna think of every time I look at him now. <laughs> he just needs to be holding a balloon. All right, let's show them what detectives are yes. made of. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, Desuhiko, when are you gonna do the, when are you dropping that balloon boy cosplay? <laughs> oh gosh, I'ma pay. Oh yeah, rumor has it collects personal data from each transaction. For sure, think the slaughter artist. Is he more like a hitman? Yeah, I guess it's kind of, I don't know, interesting they're called the slaughter artist if they're a hitman. I guess they might still want to do some, you know, weird shit with their crimes. Like, you know, turn it into art or whatever, but I feel like it's more like a murderer thing. Somebody who does it for fun rather than like a hitman who does it for work, but I don't know. Huh? Oh, what the? Whoa, oh, now somebody. What's going on? <laughs> Now somebody's definitely gonna die. A blackout? I disguise both extremely dark and bright places. Please make it just right. Y hang on. Calm down. Don't move about carelessly. Hey. <laughs> Let's came back. Oh yeah, Dr. Weska's totally dead, isn't he? Power has been disrupted. We are now switching uh. to backup power. Man, they always get a backup power. Review all systems and report any errors. A blackout at a high-tech place like this? <laughs> Guess it's not as great as it's made to look. No. Maybe it was. Could it have been the hitman? Yeah. With the security system protecting the lab shut down during the blackout. I'm not even this sure. is bad. The doctor is in danger. Let's head to the critical <laughs> lab right away. We need to protect the doctor. I don't know if we can enter there, though. I guess... Yeah, I guess if they shut down the power, then they could get through all the different rooms or whatever. Yuma, take us there. Right. Wait, wait. That blackout should have caused a commotion. If we leave now, the peacekeepers will see us. Hey, don't you got your peacekeeper uniforms? Can't y'all put those back on? I knew it. This place is crawling with them. What do we do? I'll draw their attention to buy some time. In the meantime, you two hurry to that doctor. Huh? You, Chief? What? They're worried I can't do it? I might not have a forte, but I do have my detective experience backing me up. Okay. I'm Chief of the Nocturnal Detective Agency. Leave this to me. Okay, look at you, Yako, getting some character development. Wow! Buzzhead looks so cool now! Okay, good luck. Okay. Wait three minutes after I leave the room. I'll get their attention by then. You guys use that opportunity to secure custody of the doctor. I'm counting on you both. See you later. Ah, oh, you look so cool right now, Yako. Look at you. Hopefully nothing bad happens There's to him. There's the hitman! I saw him go this way! I think he'll be okay. We're still gonna have his chapter, right? Just like we're having the Vivia chapter right now. Actually, aren't we the ones doing the more dangerous thing? 
That's not true. I'm sure it's also dangerous for the chief to be a decoy. Yeah, we kind of are doing the more dangerous thing, aren't we? <laughs> We're the one who has to go into that gas chamber and shit. Well, I guess just being here is dangerous either way. <laughs> I think we can go now. There's no time for a disguise. Let's hurry to the doctor. Right. Okay. Oh, can I actually walk around now? Oh, look at that! Oh, that's so cute, the little gif! The hallway is darker than before. Thank you, Mega Shark ZDA. I like it. That's such a cute little gift. Level up. Oh, I appreciate the donation. That's so nice. I think it's due to the backup power. The doctor's lab is this way. There's no time for a detour. Let's hurry. Yeah, but it's kind of my first time of being able to walk around here. I kind of want to, you know, <laughs> scoop everything out, see what it looks like, see if there's any shards. Yeah. Chief is luring them away, so now's our chance. Let's get out of here. God yeah. dang it. Right, sure, whatever. I love the atmosphere in the school. Oh, why did the doctor remind me of a Dragon Ball character? Oh, you mean like Dr. Giro? I think that was his name. God, you know, he does look like Dr. Giro, I, I think. Hope Maybe even okay. more so. Oh, who is this? Oh, no. Is this Fubuki? Guard here. <laughs> she runs like Fubuki. <laughs> and also Martina. I miss you, girl. Rest in cube. Oh yeah, you. it is her. Okay, uh, nice. Please hear us out. We thought the doctor would be in danger, so we. I no longer have to fear getting lost. <laughs> I am in your care. Huh? Forceful. <laughs> She's not forceful at all. Oh Yuma, has your amnesia deteriorated to the point that you have forgotten me? You just look a little different right now. Wait, Fubuki? Princess, things have gotten complicated, uh, so you can take that off now. Oh, I forgot. The full change of clothes. How about How now, are you? Yuma? Does Are you hiding all those clothes familiar? underneath? <laughs> oh, Fuduki, you're here too. Yes, I am a detective and adventurer. The chance to explore dangerous places gets me excited. But because everyone is disguised, I cannot tell who is who. I could you tell normally? Come on, let's, let's be real, Fabuki. So that's how you got lost. As usual, she is such a troublemaker. Hey, we don't have any time to waste. Let's hurry to the doctor. All right, they're like, let's rush. Well, Actually, let's let's, him on the let's catch up with Fabuki for like ten minutes. I hope he's all right. And he seemed kind of like a douche, anyways. Yeah, he's totally dead. Oh, what? Really? Doctor! Oh, what the hell? Unless it's just like a frozen screen. What? You what? again? Stop calling me! Really? He's alive? Holy shit! Thank goodness. Dr. Weska, you're still alright. Oh, thank God. A good enough standing citizen like you, Dr. Weska, is still alive. What are you talking about? The hitman hasn't arrived yet. When will he show up? Don't <laughs> tell me this so called. First rate hitman was captured by peacekeepers. No, Oof. the hitman hasn't been caught yet. What a fucking loser! Anyway, there was a blackout earlier. Is your security system all right? <laughs> this critical lab operates on a separate oh. power system that obviously includes its security measures. Jesus, this guy has thought of everything. I can even review the log on the computer itself. Yes. Security didn't drop for even a second. I wonder if Akira will die actually instead. Maybe. It's a baseless worry. Sheesh. Seems like he stayed safe, but man, <laughs> this old guy sure is annoying. And evil looking. Old guy. Annoying. <laughs> I can see you, you pathetic tiny weakling. <laughs> I'm actually only 27 years old. Oh shit. Oh, Jesus, you've really let yourself go, haven't you, Dr. Weska? What? You calling me a weakling? How dare you! Did you calm down, Desuhiko? By the way, who is that woman behind you? Oh, God! Now, now it's time to be a fucking creep, huh, Dr. Weska? Oh, um, she's another detective like <laughs> us. She's here to protect you. Oh, yeah, actually, I'll let her back here if you know what I mean, yeah. Been a while since Dr. Weska's gotten any, uh, ladies back here in the lab. A detective woman. <laughs> protecting me. Oh, never mind. He's gonna be sexist. That is right. 
I shall do my best to protect you. Never mind. It seems like you might go down that route. This might be our chance, princess. That dirty old man has a new look in his eye. <laughs> Jesus. It probably does smell so gross in his lab, though, because he's been living there for, like, months, hasn't he? Let's draw the geezer out of his hiding place with a honey trap. <laughs> Ooh, tell him, I will serve you with all my heart. <laughs> yeah. You just want her to say that? <laughs> this is for you at this point, Desuhiko. Sure. Leave it to me. I don't know. I think he's going to be like, a woman? Oh, disgusting. Get back in the kitchen. <laughs> Says we'll he see. Will serve you okay. with all his heart. Yeah. Girl. <laughs> hey, that's not what I meant. <laughs> oh my god, she did the nya. Mm. I am running low on supplies, <laughs> so I suppose it's time. If you detectives will protect me. Whoa, <laughs> she's super effective. Okay, it did work. Dr. Huesca, I'll come get you. Can you shut off the security on your end? Huh? Wait. That seems kind of more dangerous for him than <laughs> leaving it all on. What? Oh. The? Oh, shit. They're already in there? Oh, Dr. fuck. Huska? What's wrong? Oh, we're going to see him die on the screen? Wait. Who are you? Oh, my God. That's Sprite. Help. Ah. Somebody come help me. Oh, shit. Doctor? Doctor? Uh, dude, you got like 20 levels of security before your room. Hey, what just happened? Oh, Did God. You say, who are you? Was he attacked by the hitman? But the security system is still active. No one could possibly reach him. Come on, the doctor was definitely just attacked by someone. <laughs> we have to go help him. Wait, Fubuki, stop! Oh, there yeah. are toxic gas and high voltage traps inside. Yeah, I don't think he ever disabled that. Toxic gas? High voltage? <laughs> I do not know what any of those things are. There are some dangerous security devices up ahead. But at this rate, Dr. Dirty Geezer <laughs> will... Oh, perfect, perfect uh, nickname. That's not his name. <laughs> but what are we supposed to do? We can't help him. What do we do? Should we take a gamble and rush in? Hey, before you get yourself killed, how about you use your brain first, like a detective should? But I don't know what to do. <laughs> That's why you gotta think. There must be some way. I don't know if there'd be some other way to like disable the devices. You're telling me to think, but I have no idea. I have no brain. It's hard for me. It might be turned I off, but I don't know. The doctor, I should. I do I have to actually make a choice? Sound the alarm. Hack in. Oh, use a toy. Oh, use the robot. That's smart. Probably right. I know. Maybe we can use that. Yeah, let's use Amapal. <laughs> okay, if Amapal wants to kill me after this, then I understand. <laughs> use what? This lab has been developing a toy robot. Toxic gas wouldn't affect it, and it's supposed to be durable, so I'm sure yeah. it would stand high voltages. Apparently, an elephant can stand on it. I saw one in the other room. You're totally right. It's worth a shot. Yeah, let's go get that robot. Oh, hey. Hold on. I want to control Amapal. I'm excited. If we all leave this place, isn't there a chance the intruder could escape? He could even get away with the doctor. And shall I remain here and keep watch? <laughs> We've been talking for so long. He's definitely dead. Are you sure, Fubuki? Yes. If someone shows up, we can just turn back time. Oh, I guess there's that. Well, we should leave her here then. She's better at this than us anyway. You can count on me. All right. Let's go get that robot. Good. Nice. Aw, oh, yay. I hope we get to control him. That'd be fun. Control him going through the rooms, dodging poison gas and stuff. Not that he even needs to dodge it. Oh, yeah. God dang it. Every time the freaking Makoto mask thing comes up. Master, you gotta hurry. I never have enough time to read it. This way, this way. I'm trying, girl. Master, maybe it's here. The sign reads Robot Lab. You're right. Let's see. Excuse me. Okay, I kind of was expecting him to be dead for what a second. <laughs> More peacekeepers? When will you leave me alone? <laughs> what is this heart tattoo on his forehead? <laughs> okay, serve. Like his little Astro Boy sticker, too. All that commotion <laughs> going on in the blackout, too. I can't concentrate on my research. 
And those lashes. Okay, Akira, slay. That's not it. We're not peacekeepers. <laughs> We're detectives. Surely he won't actually slay. Surely it's safe for me to say that. There's something we'd like help with. <laughs> Let me just spend 30 minutes jumping all this lore on you. That's what happened. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. He's already been dead like 10 times over, dude. Really? Uh, doctor, let me think <laughs> about it. Um, I actually kind of hate that guy, so... I really need him to decide quickly. He definitely has a very oh, unique look. A little, so how about we kill some time checking oh that place out? Oh my goodness. I want to talk hey, to him. Don't mess with Alma, pal, without permission. <laughs> Come on! You're my little buddy! Look at uh, him! Sorry. Aw, oh, damn so it. it's called Alma, pal. <laughs> Is the robot really as amazing as you describe it? An amateur like yourself cannot fathom it. Alma, pal, is a fusion of all the state-of-the-art technology in our lab. Okay. Some researchers are even considering implementing it as part of militarized weapon technology. Oh shit, I knew this guy was gonna take over the world. He's just a little guy though. Who's gonna destroy the world? Oh my goodness, who's gonna become Terminator? But investing state-of-the-art technology into a toy is the epitome of peaceful civilization, <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> don't you think? That may be true, but there are other things to worry about right now. Don't worry, that guy's definitely dead already. Okay. I think uh, this looks like a shard, right? Yay! Recall memories with Yakko from the notebook! I guess, yeah, I can just kind of click on stuff and get some detective points in the meantime. Thank you to Demon30! I like to imagine that the honey trap worked because the DR is into young... Oh, the doctor is into young men, but that balloon boy comment made my head headcanon less credible. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that would be kind of funny, actually. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Do you understand the benefits this experiments will impart on human society if it proves successful? Uh, um, <laughs> of course we know. If it's successful, you get to finish your work and then enjoy a romantic dinner out with me, baby. Isn't that the benefit you're talking about? Hey. I definitely do not think so. Desert Hiko, I think we should let her focus. If you don't understand, kindly keep your mouth shut. She is not having it. Somebody said, wait. Thank you, Lucky Cat 2703 Luna. There is a shard in the lamp? Okay, is that also in this area? I got one right here. That wasn't a lamp though, right? Or is it? Is that a lamp? Looks like a science experiment or something. Oh, hey, I can click on this too. I'm a tad. Oh my goodness. Behold a friend for a new era by a... Armaturasu Corporation, the remote-controlled robot with a camera. Amapel! It can withstand even the roughest play with your rowdiest children. What the hell would these children even be doing to them to make them have to... Yeah, withstand an elephant standing on it. Like, I mean, I know kids are kind of rough, but Jesus. I don't think we need to... <laughs> think we need to be that intense. Okay, uh, anything else? Talk to this guy. Huh, you're not a peacekeeper. Well, whoever you are, don't interfere with my research. S sorry. Sorry. Aww. He's a textbook example of a focused intellectual. Your head's not wired like that, right, master? Shut up. Oh, don't worry. You got the shard and the lamp. It was that one. Okay, cool. That's good. That's good, then. What's going on here? Oh, my it's goodness. Nice. Another one. I think they might be testing robots in there. How else would you check if they can handle high voltages and toxic gas? I don't think that's what they're testing for. Okay. I guess we can probably just go ahead and click on him. Oh, yeah. What's Desu Hiko got to say? He's always a goober. Damn. Damn it. We're in a hurry. He just needs to make a decision already. <gasps> we can't rush him. But damn it. Damn it. He's already dead. <laughs> um, are you um, close with Dr. Weska? No way. He's not close with anyone. This is such an interesting looking guy. But there isn't a single person at Amaterasu Corporation who doesn't know about him. He's famous in a variety of ways. And famous for being a dick. To be quite blunt, we don't get along. His research is sanctimonious and unethical. <laughs> Unlike my uh, research of Amapal, <laughs> that's making him into a military weapon. He'd sacrifice others for the sake of his research without hesitation. Where most people falter, he's remorseless. I heard he shut himself in the critical lab, and honestly, 
I wouldn't <laughs> care if he remained there the rest of his life. Damn. That old guy is really hated around these parts. Although, I totally get it. I don't know, maybe this guy is gonna slay him, or did slay him. <sighs> He's got some beef. Looks like I don't have a choice. <laughs> oh, damn it, I guess I gotta go save him. But I want you to know I didn't want to, and he's a dick. I'm obligated to help, even if it's <laughs> Dr. Weska. Damn, that's how, that's what you were that's all you were thinking about? Do I have to? Can I just let him die? He was kind of a dick to me that one time. Alright, I'll lend you Ama Pal. That is the purpose of science, after all. I guess he does care more about Ama Pal being safe than uh Dr. Weska. This is such a big help. Thank you. Listen carefully. You can control Amapal through this tablet. Okay, cool. A display will appear with the camera's oh feet from behind Amapal's eyes. Oh, look at how dead in the eyes uh, he is. Observe through here while moving Amapal with the controller. Bumping into walls won't hurt it, so there's no need to be overly careful. Okay. All right, I'll give it a try. Also, regarding Amapal's arms, for child safety purposes, the ends of his arms are ball shaped. Okay. Can it be like a little massage gun? It is unable to grab anything, but has enough strength to flip a switch. He'd like punch. <laughs> but it won't respond to any other commands while retracting or extending the arms. So keep that in mind. Okay, interesting. For example, until the arms fully retract, it cannot move or turn its head. This prevents the arm wires from tangling up, keeping children from getting too adventurous while playing. That's everything. Any questions? No, I think I got it. Okay, it kind of does seem like we're actually going to be able to control him. I'm a pal is built to be tough. Obviously, the elephant thing is an exaggeration <laughs> for advertisements, but its load capacity is okay. 100 kilograms. Interesting. That being said, I don't know if it can survive high Ooh. voltages. <laughs> That's kind of an issue for us. Oh, um... Uh-oh. Still... Human life takes priority. Please return it to me once you're done. Our other Amapal units are broken right now, so it's the only oh. one that's functioning. Interesting. Understood. We will be sure to return Amapal to you. See yeah, that high voltage section? I think we're just like guessing for that section too, so. <laughs> Yikes. Yikers. Be a lot of uh, getting shocked, I assume. Ah, oh, look at him, he's just a little guy. I love him. I want an armor, nice pal. Robot. Did you decide on a name yet? <laughs> Baymax. Sure. Anyway, did anything strange happen, Fubuki? No. I kept watch the whole time, but no one entered or left the room. Which means the doctor and the intruder are both still inside. Uh, there's probably another way in. Let's check the intercom again. Let's check the intercom again to see yeah. if the doctor's doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Guys, he's so fucking dead. Oh no! <gasps> oh. Wait a second. Okay! Huh! <sighs> oh my god, I thought I actually pressed the power button on the switch. Oh, that scared me so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna save just in case. <laughs> Oh my god, that scared me, dude. I like kind of tapped the switch for a second, but I guess it was just the cord that uh, went out for a second. Oofers! Whew. <laughs> that was scary. I don't think it would have been that much data lost anyways, but still. Oh, man. Okay. Let's call him. Oh, no God. Use. Still no answer. It, he's not just ignoring us, right? It's reasonable to suspect something happened. He's definitely dead. He's been dead for the past, like, hour. How long has it taken us to get that freaking robot? We still might make it in time. Let's use the robot to investigate the situation in the lab. So that's the toxic gas chamber over guy? there. <laughs> they sure made this extremely dangerous. For real? I Yuma, don't go too far in. If you open that door by accident, the whole place will be filled with toxic gas. Uh, leave Amapal here and let's head back. Right, we'll leave the rest to Amapal. Amapal! Oh, I kind of feel bad. We're going to have to put him through all this dangerous okay, stuff. Switching it on now. Uh, no wonder robots are going to revolt and try to over, overkill and overrun humans. I get it. Oh, my goodness. I want to play as him. The little Amma Pal. Oh, 
I'm Mr. Rossi with security. Ensure the premises requires employee IDs as well as biometric authentication. Oh yeah, we kind of already saw that anyways. Robot researcher. Oh yeah, Kira. I don't know why it hasn't showed his name when we were talking to him. It still just said a robot researcher. I don't really know why this game is so weird with, um, whatchamacallit, names. Shinigami secret. Depending on her emotional state, not only can horns and a tail sprout out, but her entire body can take a fiery form. Well, I mean, I've noticed oh, that. Hey, the screen lit up. Oh my goodness! So this is what I'm a pal sees. <laughs> what are those other buttons? Oh my goodness, can you play piano? You can make a little bell noises, little horn noises. It's like the cockpit <laughs> of a mecha. Whoa, oh, what that? the fuck? Did it break already? Holy shit. I thought it was state of the art. What is going on? No, it's all right. It's stabilized. Huh. Phew. Scared me for a second. Okay, let's get to the doctor. Okay. Yay! Oh, I'm so excited! Oh my goodness! Oh, I can just make noises? Okay, so X to retract arm, right to turn. Okay. Move backwards. So, wait, wait, wait. It's all the left um, stick, it seems like, to move it. And turn. Okay. Okay, cool. Master, does controlling a robot get you going? <laughs> what? Why would it get me going? Use Amma Pal to get to Dr. Weska's critical lab. Amma Pal can move forward or backward and rotate left and right. Pilot Amma Pal with finesse to get to the this destination. Seems important. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Also, Amma Pal can extend its arm and make... Exciting sounds. Have fun operating Amapel. Oh my goodness, I'm so fucking Amapel excited. On the moon. Oh, he's just a little guy. Whoa, that scared me. <laughs> sorry. Oh my goodness. That sounds like a toy. Oh, he is. He's just like well, a little toy. Well, it is a toy. Okay, I can't actually move to the side. Okay, yeah, yeah. It can only go straight, I guess, but you just have to like turn that way. Ah. Look at how happy he is! Oh, He's making the little noises. Oh, I feel so bad I'm about to murder you! I'm so sad! I don't want you to go under toxic gas. Can we just send Dezuhiko in there? Come on. <laughs> vroom! Vroom! Ugh. Looking through the screen, it feels awful to be traveling through toxic gas. I hope he's okay. I am beginning to feel sick. Yeah. Yuma, let's hurry up and get out of here. I was trying to make him say like a little encouraging thing. Yeah. Whoa! Don't oh. surprise me like that, Master! <laughs> He's so happy still. S sorry. Oh my goodness. He's traveling through the poisonous gas. <laughs> what do you take me for? Don't make me haunt you! Who could be a weapon of destruction Toxic if he wanted to be? Detected. Commencing decontamination. Okay, I got through that pretty easily. Oh yeah, um, thank you, Demon30, Yuma. Okay, gang, let's just use this robot to bypass the dangerous traps. Why do I have the sudden urge to yell robophobic? <laughs> For some reason, I feel something deep inside telling me that I'm a robophobic piece of shit. <laughs> the door will be locked until decontamination is complete. The door has been locked? <laughs> He's so cute. I like his little voice. Is there voice. a key and latch somewhere? It appears that the system won't let it open until the toxic gas has been removed. Okay. Well, if the door opened before then, the toxic gas will leak out. Everything's spinning! <laughs> Decontamination <laughs> complete. <laughs> I like his little comment. Everything's spinning! Man, why couldn't you be in here the whole game, dude? I, want, I always want him to be here. Looks like it's done. The next issue was the floor panels with high voltage currents. If you step on them in the right order, the door unlocks, right? But only the doctor knows the combination. And if you fail, it will shock you at a high voltage. I wonder if maybe I reach out his hand. That won't shock him as much, you know what I mean? That's my hypothesis. We'll see. Thank you, NR China Tony Rose. Key boy got a mini key buddy. Imagine if Kokichi VA Kikochi ah, Kokichi's VA voiced Amapal instead of Servan. Oh, the memes that would be happening. Oh, that would be so funny, so ironic. I feel like the Kokichi voice could do kind of good at that. There must be a hint somewhere. This kind of thing usually has some suspicious notes around to help you solve it. No. Some zero escape shit. Crap. 
What do we do? I mean, why would there be notes in the area he doesn't want people to break in through, though? You know what I mean? I honestly just figured we'd have to just ram into them to test it out. There are only nine panels, so why not just try your luck at it? But if Amapel is electrocuted, we'll be completely helpless. Yeah, and it's like nine that you have to do in a certain order. That's a lot. I That's a lot of guessing. Going blindly. Then you better think of something. You know, like a detective would. Oh, would you stop with that? Still, is there a way to step on the panels in the right order without making a mistake? No, wait. That's it. We might be able to do it using that. Doing what? Oshinigami's ability, Fubuki's ability, Dezuhiko. I guess Fubuki's ability? I guess that makes the most sense. I kind of feel bad, though, since it does wear her out a lot. I know. What about Fubuki's forte? What is it, Yuma? Did you figure out the panel sequence? No. No matter how hard I think about it, I'll never figure out the correct order. That's why we have to just take a chance. But if you fail, you should be electrocuted, right? Yeah. Regarding failing, doesn't this remind <laughs> you of last time? Remember last time when I kept fucking up and you kept reversing time for me? Um... What happened again? You remember the bomb threat with the resistance? We were in a similar situation. But thanks to your forte, we managed to get through it. I don't remember that. <laughs> oh, you flatter me. <laughs> She's so cute. That's why I need your help again, Fubuki. If we don't know the correct order for the panels, then we just need to try every single one. Oh, thank you, EDMG7. I met a game this part. It's easy to get in one try. Really? If huh. I mess up, I need you to use your forte to go back to the time before we stepped on a panel. Okay, it did seem like somebody else did say you don't have to step on all nine. That's good, at least. Oh, I see. That's a uh, brute force sort of method. Great job coming up with that. Let's hold hands, Fubuki. <laughs> I'll measure the timing. Okay. All I need to do is hold your hand? Yes. Please stay by my side so you don't get lost. Desi goes about to get jealous! Yuma, it looks tricky to control with one hand. Uh, want me to do it for you? No, it's all right. It's easier to match the timing if I control it myself. Oh, come on, <laughs> man! Just switch with me! I can't be the only one doing nothing! Ah, uh, third wheel. Fine, I leave it up to you. Okay, yeah, still controlling right even as Desi Hiko. So, uh, we'll just have to try all of them. Leave it to me. Lady Luck is mad in love with me after all. Just you watch. I'll get it done in one shot without having to use Fubuki's yeah. powers. <laughs> Lady Luck's the baddest in love with you as uh, all the women you hit on are. Oh wait, is he controlling it? All right, that was the right one. Okay, I don't have to actually do anything. Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit! Have to turn back time. <laughs> I don't know the right answer, so uh, we'll just have to try all of them. Do I move it? It kind of just seemed like it was moving on its own. Leave it to me. Lady Luck is mad in love with me after all. Okay, maybe Just I do move you it. Watch. I'll get it done in one shot without having to- Hold on! What? Hey! <laughs> I was just about to start! Come on! You were just about to step on the wrong panel. <laughs> <gasps> you rewound time and came back? Yeah. Also, Amapel can't withstand the high voltage. Seriously? Uh, I guess luck isn't on my side today. This is so sad. Thank you, a strawberry. Yuma, Yaku said it's my turn with Amapel. <laughs> oh god, they do have kind of like a sibling relationship, I feel like, Dezuhiko and uh, Yuma. You know, That's cute. I'll let you handle the controls for Amapel. Okay, here we go. It'll be easier for you that way. Right, got it. Um, please try not to make more mistakes. Since we are sharing my power, the strain is not too bad on my body, but still. I don't know, girl. You you look pretty rough. I understand. Okay. I wonder which route's right. Okay, so I guess you step on the panels in the correct order to reach the switch that opens the door. I like how he was just gonna go straight. <laughs> he was like, yeah, the god of luck is on my side. <laughs> just gonna go straight. <laughs> That's probably it, right? I don't know, I feel like maybe like a Z or something. Like kind of go in, then go through there, and then... I don't know, that's kind of my... Thought. Step on the panels in the correct order is reach the switch that opens the door. Floor lights up blue on the correct panels and red on incorrect panels. 
<laughs> You're dead? Step on the right pan, you'll be fried. Then you have to start over, so watch it. Okay. This one was right. Thank goodness. This was the right one. Okay. I need encouragement, Whoa, robot. What's going on? <laughs> oh, it's just I'm a pal. Don't scare me like that. Okay, let's try this one. Oh, hey! Did, my man. Look at that. Okay. Okay. You are doing so well. I feel like maybe now. Oh, Is it Ah, oh, thank you, Ama Pal. Ah. Cuz I think that one just turned red because we went forward, right? So I think it's probably fine if we go now, right? Hey. Look at that. Okay. I feel like yeah, I'm going to do my Z strategy. All right. Keep going. Hey, looks pretty good. good <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for Yama Pal. <laughs> oh shit! Oh god! <laughs> Wait, what? But the door was right there, wasn't it? Wait. Hmm? Where else am yeah, I supposed to go? We figured out where it'll strain Fubuki if we fail. To okay. Wait a second. What? Yes. Wait, but that was where the door was. Oh, looks like you got it right. So I'm kind of confused. What did I do wrong? Did I go on the wrong thing? You did it. Okay. Keep going. Tomorrow's weather will be rain. Oh! Just a bit more. Oh, I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> nice work, Master. You figured out the panel room. I didn't realize I could just go straight to this uh, area. We did it. Lamel. <laughs> oh, God, that's funny. Thank goodness. I just kind of assumed all the panels were in front of the door, you know? You know what I mean? Great oh, job, gosh. princess. From my perspective, it looks like you two went straight through without making a mistake. <laughs> looks like this is it, my man. Hurry up and hit that switch. We just need to stretch oh, Omapal's yeah. arm out to that switch. Finally stretch out his hand. Right? Oh yeah, it was X. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, he's like a little, oh, he did no punch. Oh, can you do a little fish bump? That's so cute. He's just a little guy. I love you, Omapal. We're in a hurry, but this door is moving so slowly. It does move really slowly, Jesus. Any, uh... <laughs> Yuma, that should be good enough. Any moment now. Hurry up and move Amapel through that crack in the door. How do I retract it? <laughs> How do oh, I... Yeah. Didn't the researcher mention when an arm's extended, no other controls will function? I'm trying to press X, but it's not I retracting. I need to pull back the arm first. Okay, now there we, we can go. move again. Hurry, Yuma. Does he go talking about like the cracks and stuff, but was uh we like waited till the entire door was open. Okay, time to find this dead body. I bet it's stinky in here. Oh here we go. Oh shit, what the fuck? No! Whoa, no! What did they do over? to him? Maybe somebody pushed it over. Huh? Can you dare but, but they? Who? I can forgive them for murdering Dr. Jero, but not Amapal Fubuki! We gotta go back in time and save him! Hey, who oh, is there that? he is, yeah. Is that the doctor? A part of me guy. already expected it. But I still oh, doubted shit. what I saw with my own eyes. Although no one could supposedly dead. enter this lab, Dr. Wesco lay dead in a bloody mess. I tried my best to assess the situation as a cold chill went through my whole body. If <laughs> a chill of fear itself. Something oh, I guess it's for his nickname. I felt afraid I beholding that fact. Yuma, hurry and get Amapel back up to check the surroundings. 
We can't see anything while it's down. Uh, I don't even. I think we're like a turtle. I don't know if we can really get back <laughs> on our feet. I, I'm trying. Surprise me. Oh, there he goes. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank God. I was worried for a second. Oh, my pal was broken. It's back. Take a look, quick. <sighs> I've been way more upset about that. I don't really give a shit about the doctor guy. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, investigation with Amapel? Oh my goodness. Oh, he's so cute. There's something there. <laughs> this is so fucking like dystopian. There's something there. Can you see the corpse there, children? <gasps> doctor. doctor. That looks like a blade in his back. <sighs> oh. He's already dead. I mean, it did take us like two hours to get here, so. Seriously? Deadly seriously. He's dead as a door now. But how? What happened to the doctor? No, we can't say for sure that he's dead yet. <laughs> Come on, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, let's let's stop being to Lulu. Yuma, use Amapel to disarm all the security. Oh yeah, we'll that go makes check sense. it ourselves. I'm kind of scared, so I'll be staying behind. <laughs> Why did you say we then? Like you were gonna come with us? Now's not the time to say that. <laughs> How about we disarm the security for now? The button should be around here somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Where is the button at? Okay, that's probably it. Go go go! Oh my goodness, we do be an emergency, I'm a pal. So it's very important that you put your emergency alarm. <laughs> Look at how happy he is, though. Oh my goodness. Oh, you can do all of them at the same time? Oh. <laughs> Doesn't he goes like, come on, you must just fucking do it. I'm like, no, I'm doing very important business right here. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Is this, uh... Wait, how do I... Okay, I just press it, I guess. There, I was trying to extend my arm. Can I still do it while he's... Oh, no, I can't do it while he's moving it. Ah, oh, I'm a pal kind. Activation has been recorded in the lock. <laughs> I can't be sad about the death when I'm a pal's here. <laughs> oh man. I guess like I don't really know much about him, but he kind of seemed like a douche. Man, he wouldn't even put on shoes. Like he thought it took too much time. You should be spending it researching. It's like you know that man did not shower either. If you're not putting on shoes and socks took too much time, you know he was not showering. Ugh, that it smells like ass in there. <laughs> I like to imagine Yuma still having fun, despite the dead body. <laughs> Come on, how can you not have fun with all the little, all the little Amma Pal noises? He's just a good little robot. <laughs> I love that too when he like got to the body. I see something there. All security there. systems have been disabled. The status of every room is safe. Looks like okay. the security has been disarmed. Let's go, Yuma. Be careful, Master. There's a high chance someone's hiding inside. Yeah, I feel like getting in, I can understand since the, um, you know, there was the blackout for a half There's a second. No well, toxic gas, right? He did say that, um, I think it should be safe. there was like a backup thing for this too, that it shouldn't have gone off anyways. The floor panels have been deactivated. Let's run on through. Hey, here we go. God, yeah, you're looking pretty rough. Yeah, that's a man who's Dr. been dead Wiska. for the past two hours. It's no use. He's dead. He's got like a vent somewhere, I guess, they could use. Damn! Why does it have to be such a bloody mess? Murder cases aren't my specialty. <laughs> What's going on here? Why is there so much bloodshed in this town? I didn't need like infidelity cases or something. That was like it his has thing. It's been a while since we came to this city, but I still do not believe I shall ever get used to this. 
Aw, how pitiful. The detectives can't keep it together. Master, show off your investigative leadership here. After all, your corpse discovery rate is the best in the biz. Oh, poor Yuma. You too, Master? But you've already seen a ton of corpses. Fubuki's right. I'll never get used to seeing this. The body's still warm. He must have been killed only recently. Who killed the doctor? No, before we even ask about who. How? The security system was still active before we arrived. Amapel proved it. How did the culprit get past the security and make it all the way here? I like how they just kind of like left him there. I guess maybe you have to hold it down in order to keep it uh, disabled too. And where did the culprit go? Yeah, I don't know. No one seems to be hiding nearby. And we didn't come across anyone on our way over here. The culprit just disappeared. It's impossible. It's a completely impossible crime. The security has been disarmed. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh-oh. We should probably put the security back on for a little bit. Oh, we look so suspicious as fucking always. What's going on? Oh, this Jesus. It's the peacekeepers. Yeah. God damn it. We always look so bad. <laughs> oh, God. They're already here. And Yomi is always trying to find a reason to kill us. <laughs> What's going on here? We even gonna have time to investigate? Why is a member of our city dead? And why are these outsiders acting like they own the place? What is this disgusting chaos? Um, please, <laughs> hear us out. I know it looks bad, but would you believe it if I said Amapal did this? <laughs> I mean, he's in the room too. So you did this. It's kind of robophobic to not consider him, you know, a suspect too. He's saying he can't, he's not smart enough to commit murder. How dare you? Thank you, Mario MP98. I guess the inverted F means disrespect. <laughs> ah, Lamal, that's so funny. Thank you for the donation. Appreciate ya. No, by the time we got here, he was already. Uh... Are you a natural born criminal? Or are you death itself? Visiting us from the other side. Yeah, it would have made more sense to get them when it was just Amapal in here. Yuma, should I turn back time? If we were holding hands, maybe. Yeah. Don't, I don't know. move. Oh shit. Any suspicious movement, and I'll execute you right here, right now. Oh god. You'd had to serve a combined sentence of 150 years. So I might as well give you the death penalty <laughs> instead! He just wants to kill people. I mean, let's be real. He's just looking for any excuse. Wait! Turn yourselves in and I'll give you a chance to share your excuses. Also, I'll host a little party where you'll want to cough up all you know about the others and where they're hiding. So, you're gonna torture us? Who can say? We'll just have to wait and see. But for now, we humbly invite you to the jail suite. Take them away. God dang, dude. Shitty Yami, let's go into the mystery labyrinth. Huh? For the uh, doctor's killer? You can't, it's too early. Yeah, I was like, do you have to investigate first? I was like, we can't go yet, Vivian's not here. There isn't a single solution key yet. If you I'll enter be the damned. mystery labyrinth now, you won't be able to get out. I'll be damned if we enter the mystery labyrinth without him. But we have to. Are you sure? In the end, the only difference is either dying here or in the mystery labyrinth. Oh, if shit. I'm going to die anyway, I'd rather. Oh no, god. No. Oh, what the hell? What is that? What? Uh, what the fuck? What's going on? That was Chief Yako's voice. Huh? Oh no! Did the chief just scream? Holy shit. Uh, maybe he found the hitman. Oh god. Uh, then. Uh oh. Oh, show! Okay! Go for it! <laughs> Four foot tall, Desuhiko, you try to take him out! <laughs> oh, who's gonna get cubed? What are you doing? Oh my god, is it actually working? Yuma! Find Chief Yako! If we catch the hitman, we can prove our innocence! I like how the peacekeepers are just standing around with the guns in their hands. Wait, should we shoot him? <laughs> I guess maybe they're worried about shooting Yomi. Hurry! Go! 
right. Oh my god, I hope he's okay. Yako! Oh shit. Oh wait. Wait, wait, is that him? No. Is that the killer? <gasps> oh, what? Chief. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Are you Chief, serious? Are you fucking serious right now? Chief, are you all right? Chief Yako. The hitman. <gasps> oh my god. Think. The slaughter. Holy artist. shit, is he gonna die? No, dude, we didn't get your chapter yet! You. I'm sorry I was roasting you, what? Leave me here. No. Just seek the truth. I'm trying Please to figure leave. out a way we can save him. I won't leave you behind. It's too late. Oh shit. Huh? Oh, can she tell? Fuzzhead is going to die soon. Oh what are you no! Talking about? He can't die. Can't you bring him back, Shinigami? Come on! It's fatal. Even if you administered first aid now, Wait. he has no chance of surviving. Oh my God! Fire! I would never lie about someone's death. No. Oh my God! That are you serious? Be. Oh my God! Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm so upset. What's going on? Here? Oh off Yomi, you're just gonna be like, oh, whatever, some guy died, some loser I don't care about. No, Yako! Dude, who are we gonna hang out with next chapter? I was so sure he was good! I was so sure he was gonna at least live till next chapter. I mean, none of the detectives had died yet anyway, so it was kinda like, I don't know, kinda thinking they were safe? Ah, uh, man. Please, treat his wound immediately. Uh, this right, Chief Yako will... Oh. Oh, uh, Yomi's not gonna do shit, dude. If anything, he's just gonna make him, just kill him quicker. So it all comes to an end with some internal strife. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck you, Yomi. Huh? <sighs> After an internal struggle, Yako Furio was killed by his own people. A pitiful, fitting end for an unjust life. I fucking hate this guy! <laughs> I try to like him. I like asshole characters. The fuck you, Yomi. Hey, arrest this fucker we caught red-handed. God! Oh Please. my god. Save Yago. It's just a chance. Please give Aww. him a chance to live. Poor Yuma, dude. He's so cute. Should we? <laughs> to hell with him. He's gonna die either way. Oh, he's such a dick. Please wait! If you treat him now, he might... Uh, shut up! Oh. Why the hell would I help worms like you? God. I was planning on judging you myself, but you went ahead and got yourself killed. How am I supposed to deal with my pent-up justice? Oh, fuck off, you dick. Oh, I guess I'll just turn him into a cube. I mean, I can turn him into a cube still, even though he's dead. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it! Oh, my God! Are you fucking kidding me? Damn it all! Oh, my God! I hate this guy! Stop! No. Stop! Holy shit! Oh my god! Even the second time. Oh no! Oh my! Oh no! I'm in so much pain right now! Oh, did she try to go back in time and save him? And it failed? Oh shit! Fabuki! Oh no! The second time? Then that means. Oh my god! I feel bad for her too, damn! Uh, I'm sorry. I rewound time, but it was too late. Ah, oh, shit. If only I was strong enough to turn back time even further, I could save Chief Yako. What? No, Yuma! <laughs> Those responsible for killing the doctor and that piece of trash are under arrest. This case is closed. <gasps> Those fucking black eyes! Black like your soul, you bitch! We're done here. Take them away. What are you gonna do, oh Master? Oh my god. Shut up, Shinigami! Can't you tell he's going through it? Like, what are you gonna do? 
cry? Master, snap out of it! At this rate, everyone's gonna get arrested! Master! Oh, poor Yuma, dude. Ah, oh, shit, man. I can't believe that. I'm like, I'm in shock, man. I'm in so much shock. <gasps> oh. A coin? Oh. <gasps> Wait, is this him? Is it my boy? Come on. Who's there? <gasps> oh, who are you? Uh, ah, yes. There's more than I thought. Hey, Alara. <laughs> how much must I pay for you to handle my share? At this level, 100 yen per hand. <laughs> well, they're still charging, but cheaper, I guess. Yen. With the numbers here, that's enough for an entire It's a pretty block. cheap price. What a waste. I guess for vengeance. <laughs> guess Fuck him up! I'll do it myself. <gasps> Ooh. I wanna see. I'm ready. Your detectives. You're the only thing that can cheer me up right now, oh, Vivia. Vivia, you're late. Let me tell him one thing. Fuck him up. That Kick him in the nuts. Belongs to me. You'll be returning it. <laughs> <laughs> so badass. <laughs> I'm still gonna put the moves on. Oh hell yeah! Fuck him up! Oh look at him! Okay, okay, he's got moves too. I know how he's always just sitting around. Is that like he's using a power or something like his force hand maybe? Oh shit, he got away. Ah oh, god, Yomi. Man, I like, I'm still so in shock. I just really did not expect that at all. Like, oh my God. Ah, uh, fucking Yomi of course got away. I, I can't, I like, I wanted to like him, but I uh, just, he's a great villain. God, he's such a piece of shit, man. Oh. I am completely useless. I feel terrible for her too. Like the fact that she like literally tried to go back in time and couldn't fix it again. She had to live through it twice. The chief ended up like that, and there was not a thing I could do for him. So sad. <sighs> <sighs> at least they retrieved his body. <sighs> Is everyone safe? I feel like he's already dead, though, man. Everyone. Except the chief. Yeah, I want to figure out who the fuck killed him. Uh, how is he? I want to slay them, he's dude. He's unconscious. His pulse is weak. Okay, he's still alive, though? Damn. How did this happen to the chief? Yuma, did you see anything? Y yeah. Yeah, there's that one guy who was walking away. He seemed kind of tall, so I don't think it could have been Akira. I passed a suspicious man when I went into the hallway. But by then, the chief was already. The chief said it was the hitman, Fink the slaughter artist. Okay. Then he fell unconscious. Man. So it's confirmed the hitman got to him. I don't know. It's like, does he have a chance? I guess the fact that they're still saying he's alive means he has a chance, but. I don't know, man. It seems like a pretty bad situation. Let me um, read through some of these donations. I kind of. I know I got a few of them when I was going through that scene. Thank you, Safi. Papa, no. I know. Oh, I feel so bad. I hope that I hope that he can make it. Thank you, Demon30. Yomi, Yomi needs to be freaking cubed right now. For real. That's the only fate he deserves is getting fucking cubed. Thank you, Strawberry Vivia. <laughs> nice username. Welcome to the chapter of despair. God, I hope there's not more despair waiting for me. And thank you, Anthony Newberry. What do you think Vivia's forte is? Um, I kind of thought it had something to do with Ghost based off of his little splash art. I feel like I might have read about it at some point when I was researching this game, like before it got released, but I can't remember. It kind of, I don't know, it seemed like he was using it though during the fight, so I'm not totally sure to be honest, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, I thought it had something to do with Ghost. Does that mean it could maybe bring back, <laughs> bring back Yako? Uh. Damn it all! Why attack our chief? I just, I just live with the Delulu. I couldn't even pursue him. I let the hitman get away. I'm sorry. I'm really oh, sorry. 
Pina, you want to come comfort me? No, you were right to not pursue him. If you had, you might not be alive right now. True, I mean, there's not really much Yuma can do. But... Save your regrets for later. Right now, we must consider our next move. Even now, I won't allow time to be wasted. How did things end I up like Pilar. this? I should talk with the others about what to do next. Shit, dude. Oh, this is so intense, man. I love Hilara, though. They are so cool. They're such a good leader. I guess, like, I feel like if Yako does die, they're probably the best person to take over, like, the leadership position. Thank you, Ither, to add more salt to your wound. Oh, Jesus. Yako is barely alive right now after they brought him back, which means he felt Yomi curb stomping him. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was so fucked up, too. Yeah, literally just kicking him. While he was dying, oh my god, that was so hard to watch, man. Oh god. Vivia, I didn't know you were here at the lab too. Yeah, I didn't have a choice. Chief's orders. Glad you're here, bro. Although, I do feel a sense of wonder at the idea of a secret lab. I fully intended to take a lazy look around the place, but I wasn't given the chance to relax. I was dragged around by Halara and forced to search all over. Jeez, no one will leave me alone. Master, I oh, get the feeling that he's... Um, huh? huh? What is it? Nothing. Oh. Maybe it's just my imagination. Okay, I think he's just staring at her, right? She's like, he's staring at me? Because kind of the same thing she said before, the fact that he knows she exists. And yeah, it kind of does look like that, honestly. He's like literally just staring at Shinikami while he's talking to Yuma. And thank you, NR China 20 Rose. I'll admit that the kicking was excessive, but he's still hot. Yeah. You sound like me trying to defend all my faves. Hot Halara and Twilight, I love you. Not as much as Yomi, but still, I have problems. I know. I won't, I won't judge anybody for their simpering. Seriously, what? Oh, man, that's so funny. <laughs> I can't though. I can't. I can't stand or sub for him. He pisses me off way too much. Okay, poor Fubuki. <sighs> Fubuki, are you alright? I just feel so bad she had to live through it twice. Yes. I will be well once I rest a bit. However, my inexperience resulted in the chief. Girl, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. You try your best to help. I hate that. Yeah, it's like her power. It gives her too much power almost because, yeah, she just like seems to think that, like, I don't know, like she can fix anything and that, like, you know, if she can't, then it just is her, you know, I don't know, her like incompetence or something. I don't know. I, I was bewildered and confused, and you brought me all the way here. Thank you so much. <sighs> I'm the one who's still inexperienced. He was right there. I couldn't do anything to help him. I mean, uh, How really can nothing I you could do. I call myself a detective when I can't even save a friend. There, there. Right now, you're still a trainee anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no fucking jokes right now, Shinigami. Let's let's cut that out. Yuma, I'm glad you're safe. I can't handle seeing anyone else covered in blood. Desuhiko, are you alright? Yeah, I'll manage. And even Desuhiko's torn up. Someone punched me in the face during that scuffle earlier. Oh. They damaged my precious money maker. Oh my god. Damn it! <laughs> okay, never mind. I was feeling bad for you for a second. So, what do we do now? We can't stay here for too long. Right. Okay, Hilara, I love you. Halara, what brought you here? I was preparing to sneak into that restricted area we discussed. Okay, so they never even got there? But just as I was about to leave, oh. the chief told me about the death threat. Okay, maybe we'll go there next chapter then. So I headed to Amaterasu with everyone else and snuck into the lab. I want to hang out with Halara again. After that, the chief told Vivian and I to investigate the area. I didn't think it would end up this way. We should have stayed together as a group. Oh. What's the chief's condition? Uh, We've provided first data. aid, but yeah, will he survive? I'm sorry, 
I don't know the right lie to tell you at this time. Oh my god! Oh, that's so rough. So, the Jesus. chief... Oh, that's such a hard way to say it, too. I don't know what the right lie to tell you is. Shit. In any case, it's only a matter of time at this rate. We must get him out of here as soon as possible. Yeah. But that's no easy task. We took out some of the peacekeepers, but many are still around. And that elevator takes like an hour to get up. And Yomi managed to disappear. I wonder if he took advantage of the confusion and ran away. Yeah, fucking dick. It's unlike him to quietly retreat. He'll return here soon with many more of his underlings. Then we need to leave this facility right away. The gate to the lab has been sealed off. Thanks to that, we can't even leave the building. Oh god, we need Makoto to come save us. Uh, it's like the only way we can get out, honestly. The elevator to the ground level has been disabled too. We have no place to run. No place to run? Shit, dude. Uh, we're so fucked! <laughs> we're so screwed! I don't know what to do! Oh, god. Chief, please stay strong. Oh, you Chief, must. he's still breathing, but he's lost a lot of blood. This is what death looks like. It's the same as every other victim you've seen. It's not the same. I yeah. won't let it be the same. I know. I guess I try to like just close his wound so he starts stops bleeding. But still, I don't know, man. It's so it's so bad. Hey, you got a minute? We can't stay here forever. We have to take a chance and try busting through the front gates. Yeah, I don't really think there's any other secret ways we can go through. I can't agree to that. Wagering on a bet you have no chance of winning is the same as throwing the match. So you'd rather keep waiting until peacekeepers break down the door? Uh, it really just seems like no option's good. Right. We can use Fubuki's thing. Oh my, stop it. Stop it. She's gone through enough. Huh? Mine? Really? I am not sure it is worthy of showing off yet. I've no clue where your head's at, but I'm talking about your thing! Your forte! If we use that, we can get through the gate without being spotted by the peacekeepers! Oh my god, I don't know, man. Ugh, she's already used her power so much. Even if they catch us, you can just turn back time! Impossible. The gate can't be unlocked except from the outside. A peacekeeper has to make a call on the intercom to get them to open it. Maybe if we, like, disguise ourselves again? They would never let us through. That won't change no matter how many times you try. Then what about Desuhiko's disguise forte? If he looks like a peacekeeper, maybe he can get us through the gate. Yeah. I thought about that too, but my bag is oh, outside shit. the gate. Oh god. This short Horrible. detective is so useless. <laughs> he can never help when we need him most. Horrible. <laughs> god. Such a bad, bad idea. Oh, thank you, Tarana Nobody. Oh no! <laughs> I clicked just to peep in and I instantly regret seeing who apparently died. LOL. <laughs> Jesus. Oh no, it's terrible timing to click on this. By the way, thanks for still streaming. You continue to make my weekends. Oh, thank you so much. I hope you're doing well. I'm so sorry that you got spoiled though. If it makes you feel better, we don't know if he's dead yet. It just seems very, 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 very highly likely that he is. <laughs> thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you. <laughs> Maybe we have no choice but to force our way through. Don't rush to conclusions. The roulette has yet to stop. Until it does, we must consider the best course of action. What even is, yeah, Vivius Forte? Maybe use his mystery forte? The best course? I don't know. Come on, Vivi. I know you got some secret power. I just remember like in his splash or it looked like a ghost was like coming out of him. Like a ghost version of himself. <laughs> God, that posture is just unbelievable. Okay. We're completely stuck. So this is where I finally die. <laughs> finally, oh God, about time. I won't let that happen. I will never let it happen again. How did it end up like this? We just happened to appear at the scene of the doctor's murder. Yes, that's it! Huh? The peacekeepers made up their minds that we're responsible for killing Dr. Weska. 
They don't think the hitman even existed in the first place. We just gotta solve the crime, guys. Don't worry, it'll only take like... It'll only take like, you know, five hours or something. <laughs> Yaku can hang on till then, though. So what? Proving that doesn't help us in this situation at all. But what if we proved our innocence? What if we could prove this was done by the hitman? I don't know, man. I feel like we just don't have enough time for that, but sure, buddy. Um, besides the labyrinth, you know, helping us. Thank you, Strawberry Vivia. Hand-holding date with Vivia to get justice for Yako. <laughs> yeah, that'll really, that'll really help get justice for Yako. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, appreciate ya. I guess I can't really tell them about the labyrinth, but... I guess with the labyrinth, you know, it works, kind of? But, yeah, I don't know. We still gotta do all the investigation and the stuff. The peacekeepers would have no reason to apprehend us. Maybe, but still. How do you intend on proving our innocence? Don't tell me you're gonna catch that hitman and turn him over to the peacekeepers. That's impossible. He's probably already escaped by now. Then we gotta investigate it. We have to investigate the doctor's lab and gather evidence of the hitman's crime. That's crazy talk. How do you plan on investigating under these circumstances? Besides, proving our innocence doesn't guarantee the peacekeepers will suddenly let us go. This facility is already restricted. They could make up any reason they want to arrest us. You've seen how they act for a while now. That may be true, but... But we're detectives, aren't we? We have to stand up to them the only way we can. Ah, oh, thank you, uh, Pella Casey, for the donation. Appreciate ya. When all hope seems lost, that's exactly the moment to fight back as detectives. Am I gonna have to, like, avoid the peacekeepers while investigating? Must obtain the truth and use it against the peacekeepers. I agree with you, Ma. Alara! Aw, yay! Detectives should use the truth as their weapon Aww. of choice. Oh, that's cute. Uh, it just makes me happy to see Yuma happy. I didn't expect Aww. to hear that from you, Wink. Yuma. <laughs> you sure have grown. But how do we even investigate? The place is crawling with peacekeepers outside this room. Man, we should have just kept our freaking peacekeeper uniforms we had before. Still, it's not impossible. We have someone with the best forte for this situation. Ah, oh, God, we have to always, always use and abuse Fubuki's power. Huh? Could it be Vivia? Oh, oh, okay, never mind. Thank you, Lucky Cat 2703 Luna. Vivia, the bad posture is because he loves small and cozy places. So that is a small detail I love about his design. Oh, yeah, you guys can't actually see him right now either. He's right there. Man, my face keeps covering him up. No, I gotta choose to cover up Polara or Vivia? That's not right. That's not cool. What's up? What's your power, bro? Vivia, will you tell me about your forte? <sighs> I just remembered. I heard rumors about him back at the WDO. Vivia Twilight can supposedly oh. solve crimes in his sleep. I was always sleeps all the time. In his sleep. It's not a big deal. My condition lets me do detective work while sleeping. Kind of like how some people sneeze differently than others in my case <laughs> it sounds way different than that oh, just get to the point we're running out of time <laughs> can you or can't you do this investigation oh the point <laughs> well the point is I give him a beret desu hiko okay he's speepy okay at the end of the rainbow is an ancient battlefield what the fuck are you talking about hey can i punch <laughs> you just this once <laughs> he always starts talking about poetry. Get him, tiny man! You and I are on the exact same page right now. <sighs> if I skip too much, you won't understand. He does always seem very sleepy. Reading the first and final page of a novel won't give you any notion about the story. I don't want to hear about some story. Tell us about your forte! <laughs> Jesus. I'll explain. His forte is spectral projection. He can control his own ethereal self. Okay, so he can kind of move around using that? Ethereal self. I suppose I should call it a soul or a ghost. Oh. He is not confined by the laws of physics. Am I going to control that for the investigation? That'll be interesting. Thank you, uh, Pelicacy. 
Oops, I forgot. You have to donate to write something. But the way Yuma said, I won't let it happen again. Oh, referring to chapter zero. Oh, that's sad. Oh, man, my heart. Oh, poor Yuma. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate you. Which means he can pass through walls and floors. And all the while, other people cannot see him. Okay, nice. In other words, you can turn yourself into a ghost? So you can investigate without being seen by the peacekeepers. <sighs> I won't do it. What? What? <laughs> okay, Vivia, I stand you and I love you, but come on, just fucking do it. Huh? Why? Hey, now's not <gasps> the time to back down. <laughs> I'm not asking you to read the room or whatever, but at least do something for your friends here. Like, what's the point? You think I don't care about my friends? I've made my decision because I care for all of you. You are all determined to fight. But don't you think it'd be better to do as the peacekeepers say in this case? What? You may be able to get Chief Yako medical attention in exchange for surrendering. Oh. Don't you think that's the highest chance of survival out of all our options? I don't know, man. I mean, we literally just saw Yomi fucking kicking him earlier, like... I don't think it's gonna be their top priority. They did they literally called him trash, started kicking him, like, I don't know, man. Surrender. Disagree. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Don't you have any pride as a detective? Not at all. <laughs> at least he's honest. Whoa, that sure was blunt. Clinging to pride is why conflict will never vanish from this world. I hate conflict. I'd rather live in a quiet and peaceful world. Is he just like lazy, is that it? Butterflies cross the lake, and snowy flowers conceal the moon. I simply wish to sleep soundly. Always in a serene. World. Always with the poetry, man. Is it such a crime to hold this small wish? If no one else is willing to say it, then I will warn you. It's a sin to waste such a talent given to you. Tell him, Alara. You are skilled as a detective. However, you lack the willpower to make use of it. Yeah, for real. I feel like that whole poetry thing was just so he could say, um, I'm lazy. I don't want to do it. <laughs> That's what he was really trying to get across. I don't want to. Why is that? Are you afraid of something? Or perhaps you are laughing at the rest of us? I'm happy to hear you have such high regard for me, Halara. But you're simply overestimating me. I didn't become a detective because I wanted to be. And as to whether or not I'm afraid, I would say that I may be. When you desire something, you're afraid of losing it. And yet, why does everyone continue to oh have God, desires? He's always... Can you stop talking in riddles and go investigate? Yako is bleeding out, bro. <laughs> is the truth even worth it? Ugh, God, you're annoying me, but you still look so pretty while doing it. It's no use. I thought he was incomprehensible, but he's actually completely bonkers. Look at the chief. He's dying here. Doesn't it hurt your soul even a little? For real. I can't believe you'd go and spout all this nonsense right now. I apologize if I've offended you. Don't worry. I'll stop talking. As usual, I'll simply go to a dark place out of sight, out of mind. Bro. Master, you gotta stop him! For real? Vivia, <laughs> Come please, on, dude. Wait. I don't understand what you're saying, but I know we need your help right now. If you say you won't cooperate with the investigation, I don't mind. But in exchange, will you please hold hands with me? Oh, yeah, that's true. We can just do it. Ah, <laughs> uh, the perfect solution. You can still be lazy, Vivia. Don't worry. <laughs> Are you trying to make up? <laughs> I don't remember us fighting to begin with. I know that everyone wants to hold hands with me, Yuma, but <laughs> use the not so forward. No, I just want to borrow your power. Huh. This is your coalescence, is it? You knew and were just playing dumb? <laughs> hmm. Can I offer that, bro? Well, if it's just holding hands, <laughs> I don't mind. I have no reason to decline. That posture is truly something else. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Shinigami? Huh. 
Ooh, what is this sensation? I knew it already, but this guy is strange! Strange? Yeah, he is kind of a weird person. Oh yeah, I kind of wonder if it is his power that, like, his forte that makes it to where he can see Shinigami. I guess that makes sense. That's not what I meant! So, you can now use spectral projection? If so, I must warn you. When using my forte, your body will act as though you're asleep. You better lay down before you oh begin. Oh my god, we're laying down and holding hands with Vivia? Okay. <laughs> okay, no, this is gonna cheer me up. <laughs> All right. You'll be defenseless while using it, so be careful. Though everyone is here, so you don't have to worry. Also, your ghost form doesn't mean you're completely safe from harm. Hey, Yuma. Oh, really? Do you think you can do it? Okay. Uh, am I really gonna still have to be dodging peacekeepers controlling the ghost? I don't know, but I'll try. Can you watch over my body in the meantime? Uh, yeah, you can count on me. Go and investigate to your heart's content. We'll handle things here. Understood. Okay. There's not much time. I need to proceed with the investigation and get everyone out of here. I have to do this for Chief Yako. I guess, yeah, that might make sense as to why um, Vivia's always, like, lying down and stuff, too, since that's kind of when he's able to use his powers. Interesting. Thank you, Lifey. Vivia is built like a question mark when standing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was, like, thinking that or, like, the shrimp posture, you know, that meme. Okay. Investigation time. Our holding hands. I'm so jealous. I want to hold hands. I want to hold hands with Vivia. Uh, literally my dream. Wow, your soul actually came out! Wild. I wonder if you can so see me. This Probably, is right? Projection. It's strange to see myself outside of my own body. Hmm? Let's see! Ow! Wait, uh, it didn't hurt, but it feels like I bumped into something. Hmm. Is it because I've become a spirit like you, Shinigami? Looks like I can smack you directly now. <laughs> I'm loving this. Okay, yeah, I guess you can touch me. I'm just like this you now. This makes me feel really uneasy. I was kind of expecting us to be Lucky flying, for you. honestly. I'm here. Now we're literally soulmates. <laughs> it's kind of cute to be in like a form like Shinigami with her. <laughs> okay, interesting. I don't know why. Yeah, I was kind of expecting us to like flow through walls and stuff like that. Thank you, Demon 30, Vivia. Now the most important step, you have to say, go and ghost. <laughs> I have to say, go and ghost. Yuma, um, why? Do you want to find the truth? Uh, yes. <laughs> then do it. <laughs> I'm going ghost. Oh, that's perfect. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, I love it, man. That was a good show. Yeah, I wonder if the controls are gonna be any different. I don't think so. I mean, it looks like we're just walking around as a ghost, right? His soul has probably left his body about now. Okay, you can't see me? I kind of thought he would be able to since he can see Shinigami. Huh? It, really? He doesn't look all that different to me. Looks like Desuhiko can't see me. I'm sure I can investigate without the peacekeeper spotting me now. By the way, Yuma. I'm sure you're hovering right above the floor near us. Oh. <laughs> you're only doing so subconsciously. Right now, you're truly free from the shackles of the laws of physics. Similarly, it may at first be difficult mm. to pass through a wall due to the preconceived notion that you'll be blocked. You just gotta believe that you can pass through the wall in order to do it. To begin, try passing through a door. Your consciousness views doors innately as passageways. Why don't you try it out? I'm passing through the door. Okay, you interesting. And I are the same now, Master. Ooh, freaky. That's cool. Wow, <laughs> you really made it. I guess you might still have to just go through doors. This means I can freely go in and out of places I couldn't before. Hey, I can check for some more shards. I'll 
Also, the hallway is brightly lit now. Seems like the regular power switched back on. Okay. Anyway, we got to investigate the murder scene. We need to hurry up before more peacekeepers arrive. Yep, Miss Deerful. Okay, nice. Investigation, start, right? Oh, whoa, what the fuck? Oh, I can't save either. I was like, I kind of have plans soon. So I was like, I don't know if I can, uh, I have plans at like 7.30. I guess maybe I can try to get through this game first. What are all these other ghosts, man? Nothing to see here. Oh shit, what the fuck? Okay, never mind. not going that way. Holy shit, what am I supposed to do? Um... <laughs> New friends? I don't think so. <laughs> what are those? Enemies, for sure. Lost wandering souls. They're your natural enemies while you're in ghost form. Is this what Vivi was warning us about? Yeah, just oh, be wow. careful not to touch them. You know there's human experimentation here. <laughs> there's all these ghosts here. Jesus Christ. What are y'all doing here? What happens if I do? I'm going to find uh, Dr. Jero's ghost. You'll be <laughs> joining them! <laughs> I can't wait to see that! Why are you excited about that? <laughs> anyway, let's be careful and make sure not to touch oh, them. Oh, God. Time for the tutorial! Let's go to Dr. Wace's critical lab. Watch for the wandering souls. <laughs> Things are gonna get nuts! A wandering soul will drag whatever it touches to the afterlife, so be careful! It's so sp sp spooky! All right, let's hurry. Okay. Let's go. Oh shit, dude. What the hell? <laughs> There's someone literally everywhere. Come on, can I just walk through walls? I just gotta... I mean, they can see me too, right? Okay, they're kind of like going up and down. Man, this reminded me that Dong and Rampa another like oh, uh, that was a close game. One. Okay. Let me go through here. It's flowing like a waterfall. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so I just gotta like time it right. I mean, I suck at this kind of shit. Okay. Ooh. Another one. Okay, so it's all the way over there. Oh man, I probably need to go through here, right? This looks easier. Okay. Oh, be careful! It's the victims of Ama Pal. <laughs> That's what they were practicing it on. Getting Ama Pal's uh, targets to make sure that he's a uh, weapon of uh, <laughs> weapon of mass destruction. Thank you, uh, Strawberry, for the donation. Okay. I do. Okay, I can kind of pass through there. It looks like not too bad. Oh shit. Okay. Big boys. You think they could see me? I was just chilling. Uh, there were so many! Kinda- Ooh! <laughs> that was scary! Okay! Okay, 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 okay! Okay, whew! Okay, let me go through here. Oh, that was scary! <laughs> okay, that was a close one! Okay. So I need to kinda go up there. And then... Cross? I think? How the hell am I gonna do this one? Okay, definitely this, and then I think this. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a bit more. Okay, almost there. The big boys. Oh, what the? Jesus Christ, how many people have y'all killed? <laughs> On the pal. How many victims have you taken? Oh my goodness. <laughs> how many people have you murdered, On the pal? I don't see any kind of. Okay, okay, so I get in between these two, I think. Okay, let's get in between here. Looks like my camera is okay. Uh, just kind of clipping out. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh no! Damn it! Ah! Damn it! Oh God! Hopefully, I don't have to start all the way over. We have to hurry okay, to the that's good. Scene. That's good at least. Go, go, go. I just went a little too far over to the to the left. Okay, okay, right here seems okay. I think. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I'm so scared. It's so spooky. I was really sweating. <sighs> oh, I was so close to 
doing it in one go though, man. That was so close. <laughs> uh, just slightly, slightly too, too far. <laughs> We're here. I hope there's no one inside. Who cares if there is? Not like they can see you anyway. It's a matter of how I feel. Even if they can't see me, it'd make me uneasy if peacekeepers were there. Hmm, so that's how it is. I'm already used to it, so I didn't notice. Okay. Yay! Hopefully there's no more ghosts. Not even they want to go to the toxic Nobody's gas room. Nobody's here. I guess the peacekeepers have better stuff to do than investigate after all that happened. I wonder if the doctor's body is still here. Maybe the doctor's soul <laughs> is still floating around here. <laughs> That's he true. To pass on. I was like, could we see his soul actually? <laughs> I just scared myself. Okay. I saw wins. So I think you can save and quit at this point. Full investigation is very long. Yeah, I kind of want to do the investigation next time. Hey, if we meet the doctor's soul, maybe we can ask him what happened. Maybe I'll just try to find, like, a good end of the conversation. Can I save during the... I'll go ahead and save now, just in case. It's like, I think I can save during the investigation, but... Okay, <laughs> I can't save now, actually. <laughs> so it doesn't even matter. This may be weird coming from me, but I doubt it'll be that easy. <laughs> nah, Huska never had a soul. <laughs> Rip. I guess so. Burn. We'll just have to take this one step at a time. It do be true. It do be true. The Dr. Ro looking ass. Time to Okay, here we go. Yeah, this might be a good time to save, because yeah, I got some plans soon. Oh, Vivia, we didn't see you at all this chapter. <laughs> and when we did see you, you were kind of being a dick. It's so sad. I just gotta save over all these other uh, save files. So <laughs> every single one of my save files will be Vivia, as it should be. <laughs> As it fucking should be. Okay, well, thanks guys for coming to the stream. Um, the next stream is gonna be a bit earlier because I'm going to San Japan this uh, coming up weekend. So if any of you guys are there, feel free to say hi to me. Uh, the whole like, or not the whole, but a lot of people from Project Eden's Garden are gonna be there. So I'm be super excited. I get to meet all of them. I bought a Grace Madison cosplay too. So <laughs> if you're there, just look for me. I'll be cosplaying her. Um, I have some other cosplays I need to look at and see if I can get those ready in time or not. But I'm super excited about that. So yeah, I think I will be streaming on Thursday, probably. Probably like three or four. Um, I'll let you guys know. And then, um, depending on how much we get done, I might figure out what? I don't know. Hopefully I'll be able to finish the Labyrinth next time. But if not, then maybe I'll do another stream after the weekend before Saturday. But we'll see. Um, just kind of wanted to let you guys know about that. But yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed the stream and I will see you. Uh, oh no, it's uh, San Japan. It's a con. <laughs> Slay in Japan. I wish I was going to Japan. <laughs> maybe, maybe one day. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a con convention. But uh, I'm super excited about it. But yeah, thanks guys for stopping by. I I appreciate you and I will see you next time and let me get this freaking set up okay bye